we should be live. Just let us know if you guys can hear us in the chat. And uh, if we sound okay, let us know if anyone's mics are like too loud or too quiet or the app's too loud or anything like that. Just let us know and we will adjust accordingly. Um, but we're going to be playing Mansion of Madness 2nd Edition. I'm Rob. This is Kyle. This is Melanie. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss when we go live in the future. Um, thanks to all our Patreon backers. You're awesome. Without you, this channel wouldn't exist, so I appreciate your donations. If you'd like to donate, there's a link in the description below. Uh, we're going to be playing Mansion of Madness, which is an app-driven board game. Uh, it's not new. It's been around for two or three years now. Uh, but they keep pumping out expansions for it. At least one a year that I know of uh, have been coming out. We bought everything that was out last summer of 2018, I believe. Even the stuff from the first edition that they repackaged and brought, if you wanted to grab that stuff, we got that. But we didn't get the expansion that came out uh, late last year, or the one that is coming right now to stores and this week, or already came out or something. Um, but there's another uh, expansion coming out. But everything else, we've added to the app. Which, if I can get my mouse over there, you can go to the more section, go to your collection, and we don't have the first edition. Uh, but we do have the second edition, and so we've clicked and added in all the expansions we have. So we don't have Horrific Journeys and Path of the Serpent. Uh, but we have everything else here, so this will add in extra monsters that could be randomly put in, uh, extra item cards. We have different, like a big stack of characters now because of this. It's literally overwhelming how many tiles uh, we have for this game. Uh, but yeah, the app will, based on the DLC mission or the mission that came with the, the game, that the expansion you bought, it might mix in other stuff. But you do need the base set, so... It still pulls stuff from the base, I guess. But uh, we might see some stuff mixed in, some items and spells and whatnot that you normally wouldn't see in a playthrough if you just had the base set. Um, but yeah. All right. So let's go back here. So we're going to be playing Cycle of Eternity. Uh, this is Kyle's first time playing, actually. So because of that, uh, they recommend you play uh, the Cycle of Eternity, which the difficulty on that is only a 2 out of 5 here you see on the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know why my mouse is like off on that, but let's go to this view. So, yeah, why is the mouse off? That's messed. Anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, the difficulty uh, is 2 out of 5 for this one, 60 to 90 minutes. Uh, and after a rash of disappearances, your investigation brings you to the Vanderbilt Mansion during a meeting of peculiar, particular sorry, Astronomical Society. Can you unravel the mystery before the cycle of attorney turns once more? Um, they have a whole bunch in here. So this one is from the core set. You can tell by this little Cthulhu arm thingy here. So does that mean we have 22 options and missions that we could play? Uh, sort of. Sure. They put in the ones in here that are like DLC also, and they throw in the ones that you need a future expansion. Oh, okay. Every time they okay. update the app, so kind of like, oh, okay. oh, man, there's more to buy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so okay. this stuff, we have like a bunch unlocked. For the core set. So if you guys like this video and uh, like literally click the like button <laughs> and watch it, uh, we'll see that you guys like this stuff and we'll do more of this. Uh, and if you want more Mansion of Madness, we'll do future uh, scenarios out of here. We'll get some DLC. We'll play with some random different characters and stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep playing the game if you guys like want to keep watching it. Uh, but we're just trying it out here, teaching Kyle. Maybe he doesn't like it and never wants to play again. And we'll find that out after today. So stay tuned for his uh, impressions. <laughs> I think he'll like it. It looks good. Based on other games yeah, yeah, that we've played, cool. I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole bunch in here. And it tells you on here, like, the expansion that it comes with. So we have that. So this one, oh, no, look, it's the core set, but it's the DLC, What Lies Within. Oh. And you have to buy it. It's, like, a separate DLC, I guess, through Steam or whatever. Oh, cool. Okay. And then there's these ones we have open. And then eventually it'll get to ones that... Uh, oh, there's another DLC. Uh, physical product oh. required. So the expansions we don't have, like the oh, physical cool. ones. There's a few in here. Okay. So yeah, lots of content. This game's still still churning it out. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start with the basic one here, uh, and we're gonna select our investigators. So uh, let's see here. So we're we'll playing with. Uh, I picked Carol Fern, the psychologist. Uh, she has six. Damage, eight, horror. Her action is, you or another investigator within range, flip one horror face down or discard one horror. And her strength is three, agility two, observation four, lore is three, influence is four, and will is five. Kyle, what do you got there? You got William, William Yorick? Yep. What is he, a grave digger? Seven, Apparently. seven damage, seven horror, and his ability, whenever a monster is defeated, gain a clue. 
So that's anyone defeats it, I believe, you get a clue. So we'll be throwing clue tokens at you. Which clue tokens you use to basically change these investigation results to successes for each clue you spend. Or you can use the clue tokens to get extra attempts on puzzles, which are in the app. So okay. some fun little little app-driven puzzles we'll do. Uh, strength of four, agility of three, observation of four, lore of three, influence of three, and will of four. Mel, what do you got over there? I am playing Tommy Muldoon, the rookie cop. He uh, has seven damage, seven horror. He starts, uh, so it says you begin the game with the Becky unique item, which the Becky unique item is once per round, you may reroll one die, and it's a firearm uh, with four damage. I have four strength, four agility, four observation, two lore, four influence, and three will. Very nice. Okay, so I selected the characters that we're using, and we're going to go into gain our starting items, which will randomize based on the sets that I've inputted into the app. So it's kind of cool. So, oh, it's got a second row here. Oh, because that's my Becky. Oh, that's cool. That I start with. Oh, that's so cool. It knows. It knows. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're going to get we're gonna get all these out of the pack here. So these are the four out of the five across the top. Uh, based on that back, they are from the common item deck. Uh, but some things are two-sided out of the item decks. You're allowed to look at the back. And the front will tell you like when you flip it. So like for example, there's a whiskey bottle, mm -hmm. so you can drink it to kind of like give you some drunk power kind of thing. But then you flip it and it becomes a broken bottle weapon. So like oh, it's nice. like you smashed it, and now you can stab people with it. So it's kind of cool. Nice. Uh, so we're gonna have holy water. Why is blinding different? Uh, oh, that's a, a spell. spell. Oh, a spell. Sorry. Yeah, I was I gonna. See. Yeah, that's a spell. Uh, it looks like there's no unique items other than the Becky, uh, which you already read there. Mm -hmm. Four damage. I like it. Yeah, that's cool. So holy water uh, is equipment. Can't have it. <laughs> Why not? You can't trade it to me? Uh, I could drop it later, yeah. Oh, or I could trade it to you, yes. Yeah, she starts with it, like her character starts with that. But these other items, we actually have to pick and, and strategically decide who gets what. So there you can you can look at our holy water. What's it do? What does it do? Discard one horror and become focused. Then discard this card. So focused is like going insane or that kind of stuff. It's a... Uh, I forget what they call that, but it's uh, like an ailment or whatever. But uh, focused, you basically get this card, and then you may discard this card to convert all your investigations to successes when resolving a test. So if you roll a bunch of those little spyglasses, you can flip them all in one shot. Mm. So you get that card until you want to pop it. It also says that we each begin uh, yes. with two clues, so I'll just pass those out now before so we... Kerosene. Uh, did I already get that one? Yeah, Kerosene Lantern. What's that one do? You may discard this card to convert all clues, uh, no. yeah. searches, Inves investigations, investigations yep. <laughs> to successes yes, that's what's while going. attacking unarmed. Okay. Uh, let's see. You may discard this card to convert all searches to successes. So it's basically uh, the same as the focus thing, yeah. but only while attacking. Yeah. Which normally attack is a test you do, so this is only when attacking, but the other one, oh, attacking unarmed. Which you can choose to do when you attack a monster, even if you had like a blade, a gun, a heavy weapon, a spell, whatever. There's a, and when you go to attack a guy, it gives you the option of what you want to choose to attack right. with. So if you choose unarmed because you have that, then you don't need to always attack unarmed, just in that. Okay. So uh, the other thing here is the King James Bible, which is a tome. Uh, action, you are another investigator within range, may discard one face down horror. Oh, that's good too. And then we have silver. Twilight Dagger, which is a melee weapon because it has the blade, the little uh, knife, whatever symbol there, versus a gun, mm -hmm. which is range, can shoot up to three spaces away uh, in range. Uh, and then it does one base damage, but you may get more damage on your rolls or whatever. Uh, and then you may deal one additional damage while casting an attack spell. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and these have two sides? No. No. Okay. Uh, then the other thing is the spell we get is binding. So this is a spell deck, uh, and in there, if you took a spell like let's say Inca Arcane Insight, there's five of them. So how we do it is, uh, and you're supposed to do it is like you take a random one and you put it in front of you. Then when you do the spell, you do this on it, and then you flip it, and it tells you something on the back, and then you discard it, and then it gets shuffled back in the deck, and then you take a new one. So you constantly have that spell. But what we do is just give you the whole deck, sit in front of you like an item. You can drop it, you can right. pick it up and all that. But just take the top one, use it, and then when you're done, shuffle them back in, and then that top one is going to be your next one you use. Like, that's, yeah, just to keep it clean. Okay. Um, so binding, 
Uh, I don't think these are any alphabetical. Doesn't look like it. Whatever. Uh, binding. I see it. Never had binding before. Uh, yeah, it's from an expansion. <laughs> okay. So binding spell. Action. Place a restraint in a space within range. Then flip this card. What is a restraint? Isn't there um, where the focus was? There was something that was called restrained, I think. Righteous. If anyone in the chat knows, just let us know. <laughs> no, I think it's in that deck you're looking at. Oh, restraint. This is restraint. This is restrained. Okay. You cannot move voluntarily at the end of your turn to discard this card. So what does that say? A restraint. I think that's that. Um, no, maybe, but let's find the rules from that expansion. Oh, it's from a specific expansion? Maybe, maybe it's a new card or something gave us that, I didn't know. Yes, it's this expansion. <laughs> restraint, it's a token, looks like oh. this. It's got a, a, oh, a red this. arrow in a circle, yes. So how restraints work, so something new we've not done before. Oh. Uh, various game effects cause investigators to place restraints. A monster in a space that contains a restraint does not need to be evaded. Oh. It's like he's tied up. Spaces can contain multiple restraints. When a monster activates, investigators in a group may choose to discard a restraint from the monster space. If they do, the monster forfeits its movement. When investigators discard a restraint, it is returned to the restraint pool. And restraints are not possessions. They cannot be picked up, dropped, or traded. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we leave restraints. Can't be evaded. Space to multiple. What if they don't, though? What if what? If, if you don't exercise this. When a monster activates, investigators as a group may choose to discard a restraint from the monster space. It, it will just leave. Like, like monster, monsters off. usually will attack you or they'll yeah. like move and chase you down. Mm. But this is like saying if you're in a space with a monster, you can toss this away and then they kind of don't do moves. So you can toss it away and I guess run away from them. I, I don't know. Well, whatever. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Not, okay. not well, cool to spell, there's but some that's of what them. they gave us. I mean, maybe it's really cool. We'll find out. Okay, so. So it doesn't. It tells you, like, don't look at the back of the spell otherwise, but. Just want to make sure. Chant rips from. Okay, you test, pass the test, pass. So these are these are all look like uh, lore tests on this spell. So. Are you yeah. supposed to know that though before you? Well, if you played the game before, if oh, you got yeah. that spell, you'd know. Like that's why I, I like. You can look at anything before the game, but whatever. It's just you don't know which one you specifically get. Right. I didn't read the rest of the fact, but it's just good to know for taking the spell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't want to take someone who like completely keeps failing at it. But, I mean, you may be forced to drop it. Somebody may pick it up. You're in a desperate situation. Um, I have three lore. You have three lore? Two. Two. Okay, so one of us should take this. I'll just take it, I guess. Sure. Uh, here, I only have one weapon. <laughs> uh, I don't need a weapon. I'm good. You have a weapon. I, yeah. That's, that's probably good. why they only gave us one weapon. Uh, here, you take this. Mm. There's this attack on arm. Like your strength is high, mm -hmm. which means you're good for fighting, I think. But giving you a weapon, you can always attack on arm. But maybe giving you a weapon means you could do a little more damage on some of these monsters. I'll take the kerosene lantern, I guess, to go unarmed. And you may discard this card to convert all successes to an attack while attacking on arm. We'll try to find other uh, weapons yeah, yeah, in, yeah. The, in the mission, but. And then you got the King James Bible. You are another investigator within range. May discard a face down horror. I don't know. He horror. One of you two guys take that again. Sure. And action: discard one horror and be, horror and become focused. You want, you want some holy water, there, buddy? Sure. Why not? He doesn't know any better, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you can always trade with people in your space as an action. You can also drop stuff in a space if you're like, here, I'll leave this for you, and I'm going to go run and do this, and then you pick it up. So that's the other option. Okay, uh, so let's see here. So that's, that's that. Two clue tokens each. Okay, uh, let's see what's next here. Continue setup. Sorry. 
We shall we shall see that which dogs howl in the dark and that which cats prick up their ears after midnight. H.P. Lovecraft. In scenario. All right. Oh. Okay, so it shouldn't be reading it out loud. No. Okay, perfect. Uh, I turned off the the reading just so it wasn't. Uh, Oh, so it's not reading yeah, while we're talking? Yeah, you your office chair. So it's, they say it's kind of important to read this stuff because it usually get, drops hints and then there's clues throughout the thing to kind of let you know what's happening. Yeah, I don't see it making audio. but uh, <laughs> You slump into your office chair after another long day of interviews. You have been investigating the disappearances surrounding a wealthy neighborhood for two weeks, but you have nothing to show for it. The telephone rings. You answer and hear the panicked voice of an older man. Uh, is this the investigator who visited the Vanderbilt estate? You flip through the files on your desk. William Vanderbilt, a wealthy bachelor, mother recently deceased. He had refused to meet with you, but you were able to speak to several members of his serving staff. This is Eugene, Mr. Vanderbilt's butler. I do not know who else to call. The police think I'm crazy. Unnatural things have started happening here. I'm worried for my master. I think he's in danger. Please help. I'm afraid to click. Nope, it's not me. Help, help faster. Me. Finally, a lead. You hang up the phone, throw on your coat, and leave for the Vanderbilt estate. Continue. 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 Man, yeah, this mouse thing's messed up. I don't think it's shifted. Like the res is different. See how it's got that black bar on it? On there. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Really? But it did something weird. Like the app, did, you saw when I like went to. Uh, click start the thing it like did that whole flip back and then start yeah. loading yeah yeah definitely bugs definitely bugs uh, okay hold on one sec let me just uh, oops oh it's gonna make us get new stuff to start with yeah don't do that oh but like can I you, can't can continue. you tab it can you tab it space bar uh, nope yeah the app's, app's broken <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah, we had a bug out us on us the other day in the puzzle. Oh, players already running. Fatal error. Yeah, something's messed up. Uh, please stand by here. Let's flip to this. You no. Let's see what we read. <laughs> There. Let's see it running, right? Mm. He got his own little icon too. Let's try again. To the right. Floating assets, loading us. Oh, uh, player oh, no. is already running. Fatal error. It's the video that UI. Ah. What is that? Suspended. It's kind of weird. Go, yeah. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Why not? Just right click and see where it is. Let's go to open file location. There, there. I'm trying, I'm trying. Smells on this board. Mm, zoom video. I don't know. Zoom video Windows apps. What the hell is that? I don't know. Zoom. <laughs> that stuff's still around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably. End right. task. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's try again. I'm trying to kill processes here to get this thing to launch. I blame whatever the hell this Xbox bar game bar crap is. It's probably. What? Why does it keep trying to open twice? Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> messed up. Oh, success. What we got there. We got the quality <laughs> app. Quality app. Okay. Hopefully. What if you do continue? It's it's not. We haven't have. We don't have a game in progress right now. Oh. All right. So let's uh, let's just rip through this real quick here. <laughs> At least we get a different spell. Uh. Tony Muldoon. Yep. And William Yorick. We might get. No. No, it's always. Stuff. Yeah. Always very all, different. Oh, okay. binding's still there. All right. Mm. So you still got that. Oh, we get Azure Flame. He's a guy. <laughs> Azure Flame. Okay. So what happens when you're live? Yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. All right. So two by four. What's that do? A two by four? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, you brace the door with the board. 
flip this card and place it against the door to your space. It's just like a... What? But it's also oh, it's, a... it's a heavy weapon. Yeah, it's a heavy weapon, but you can also use it as a board against the wall. Like to, to block the door. Block it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Bandages. Bandages. Discard up to two face down damage when... Then discard this card. That's a good card. Mental stimulant. Improve... Reading? What? Really? <laughs> What's the symbol? Oh, know. lore. Oh, lore. I was like, <laughs> like, the way you said that too is like, improve, improve reading? Book. Like, I don't. I'm like, I have to look up another rule about reading? <laughs> <laughs> Discard this card. Well, she's got glasses and stuff. Yeah, she's yeah. all like, you know. To improve Im lore. Improve it by what? By I what? I don't know. Let's say. Yeah. Just improve it? Yeah. Sure. So I think it gets, uh, you get one additional. Improve lore, then this guy's card. Is that how improve works? Where's this one from? Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right here. Let's check our other rules. Uh, improvements. Nope, it's these little, oh little my tokens. God. Pink <laughs> ones that are in there. We're just making stuff up today. Yeah, the app's giving us uh, <laughs> future stuff. It didn't in our other playthroughs when we have that all activated. We picked the first mission, right? Yeah. All right, uh, various game effects cause investigators to gain improvements. Uh, effects that cause investigators to gain improvements use the word improve. When an investigator is instructed to improve a skill, he or she claims a token associated with that skill, placing it in his or her play area. If an investigator is instructed to improve a skill of his or her choice, that investigator chooses which token to claim. Uh, when an investigator has an improvement uh, in his or her play area, that investigator increases the printed value of the skill corresponding to the skill on the token by one. Okay. Uh, the skill cannot be improved more than once. Uh, improvements are not possessions. Improvements cannot be dropped, traded, unless a specific effect allows it. When an investigator discards an improvement, the token is returned to the improvement pool. Okay. So but the card can be dropped. Right? Yeah. Uh, items. Before. Yes. Unique items, common items, and spells are all possessions that can be dropped. Okay. And traded and stolen and all that business. Okay. Okay, so... so now we have two options for so weapons, we this so that's a good. light source, Azure Flame. Oh, this is the one we had before, where you mess with this, and like it creates fire. Like You can start the, the place on fire. It's kind of cool. Mm. It's like you mess up the spell. But there's no there's no requirement of testing. It just literally flips it over, and it's like, oh, you messed up casting this spell. Light the room you're in on fire. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was a mess. It was a mess, but it's fun. <laughs> Well, I already uh, have but a it's weapon. range, and it's two damage. I already have a weapon, so you guys can take those other weapons. Oh, there's two now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The two yeah. by four. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll control the fire. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to let you run wild with it. No, just the other ones are whatever. Discard two face down damage. And the oh, I could take the lore, because my lore is only two, and then we can all be okay, matchy we'll matchy. That one. So we'll give you the bandages, so if sure. you get some damage, you can get rid of some. And then improving lore. You're the lore on the lore? Yep. I'm a Mental two. stimulant. There you Sweet. go. Sweet, and then we'll all be matchy matchy. So but you can discard it, and I'll just take these two spells: binding, which I'll figure out how to use, I guess. Place a binding in a space within range. So I, I kind of want to do that to m monsters, right? I'm assuming throw it in there. Yeah. yeah. Or in a space, or or, or just in any space, and but, then if they're coming at us, then at least we can take off without being uh, yes. having to evade, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they don't just disappear unless we throw them away. But we can do it on a space with a monster and then they don't move. Okay. Right. I'll try to remember that and use it correctly. We'll see. We will see. Uh, okay. If we get that far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we will. I'll just forget I have it though because I won't remember that. Uh, all right. Okay. Begin scenario C. Watch, watch, watch. Click. Well, right. that was good that time. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just, uh, I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah. Okay. A bunch of clicking does go faster. But, oh, oh I was worried for a second. I was, I was like, like, did you double click, click and it didn't right. work? So you, Mel's going to run our tiles over here. Uh, and we're going to jump to the table. Actually, do a little bit. Sure. Just give us some space, just in case uh, this is a mansion might get... Uh, you going to read the uh, thing? Uh, yeah, he yes. Will. Your car rattles up the uneven drive. Pulling to a stop in front of the estate. Several cars and carriages are parked along the drive. However, the butler who contacted you is nowhere to be seen. You knock on the large oak door to no response. Fearing something has happened, you try the handle, and the door swings open into a lavish entryway. Place the lobby tile 
and walls as indicated. Uh, did you get the wall that's over here? What? Is it up here? There's two. There's, there's two. one like underneath. Oh, which the one text. is missing oh, here? Two. Oh, two. we're. Yeah, right here. There needs to be a wall. Sorry, I always play these. Oh, that's not even a wall. Are they wall. both paintings? Yeah, they're both paintings. Well, always... it doesn't doesn't matter the type of wall. You just grab a wall token. Yeah, yeah. A wall token will always has a brown side on it that like looks like a wall, not Do a door. Do you want it angled the same orientation as what we're looking at? Angled the same orientation. Like this? Absolutely not. Okay. Because they're watching it like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So right? it lines See? up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, it's just we'll, we'll take weird care for of me. Okay, because yeah, <laughs> I always play games side. and I'm always like side and backwards and... Okay. You step into the warmth of the house. A strange stillness hangs in the air and your footsteps echo through the quiet entrance. Place your investigator figures as indicated. Why well, is there only two? It's just, it's not even the two regions, it's just yeah, a generic just, image. Yeah. You would think the programmers would have took the pictures of each yeah, yeah, yeah. mini and throw them on there, but I hope in future scenarios it's not like, so-and-so starts here, so-and-so starts here, but it's like a generic figure image, oh, maybe, who knows. I don't but know. Either way. All right. All right, so this is a search token in the middle of the lobby, sits the table with a small pile of papers. Okay. Okay. Keep note of all this stuff, Kyle. You have to remember yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. You're a detective. There's a thing of papers in the You're lobby. a detective. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to solve the riddle. There's no way in the app you can just look at a message log and see anything that was said. And there's no way you can click on these and reread this. So you need to remember every piece of text Man, we I see. I already saw that. I you can reread this. <laughs> <laughs> so we are investigators, though. This is like the 1920s. We're trying to solve this mystery here. It's like horror-themed HP yep. Lovecraft stuff. So just so you know, it's playing this because Halloween's coming up. Uh, so it's getting get in the mood with the, the, the creepy games. Um, so we got to find out what's going on here. And we do not know the uh, how to solve this. We don't know how to win this scenario. You never know at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You just start playing. And based on what you're searching and actions you do and options we take and rooms we explore and all this stuff, we'll, and how long we take, the app will could give us a different final, here's the final thing you have to do to win. Go! And like it may change when you play, and it's so, so like we don't even know yet. We have to like investigate, read clues, read books we find, go through papers, unlock locked chests, find, go under the bed, find a gun case, open that up, find a letter inside, read that. All this kind of crazy stuff in these missions, which is kind of cool. And based on all the information you're given, mm -hmm. plus that prologue, you got to kind of try to solve the solve the scenario. All right. And another one we need, a mysterious painting of a nightmare landscape looms over the lobby staircases. Place the search token is indicated. And over here we have, the silence is broken by muffled shouts and sounds of crashing pots and pans coming from the door on your left. Place an explore token is indicated. You notice a shelf stacked with books and other objects nearby. Pushing it in front of the door could prevent someone or something from coming through. Place a barricade as indicated. Three other doors lead into the mansion. Place explore tokens as indicated. Investigator phase. Okay. If you guys have any questions in the chat, let's just let us know. Uh, or if any of our volumes are off or someone's louder or quieter than another, I'll, I'll play around the volumes. If the music from the app or sound effects or anything are too loud or too quiet, let me know and I'll turn it up or turn it down. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. And uh, the other thing you need to know is there is a time to the app. So if we're taking too long and you're just exploring random stuff, like there are things that you could explore that literally only give you like more clue tokens, maybe an item. Maybe they waste your time and you're trying to do tests and you can't get into the lockbox or f understand the scribble on a paper. You know, you're trying to understand it. You're trying over and over again. Um, you're wasting time. You're mm -hmm. wasting actions. Some stuff is put in here to be a distraction. Some stuff is key to push the mission forward. Some stuff is branching paths and might change the outcome later and stuff like that. So okay. just so you know, like we have played where literally I love doing it. And if you guys seen our Lord of the Rings playthroughs, which uses the same system roughly, uh, I love just running around the map trying to f rip up every token I can looking for cool items and weapons and stuff. But yeah, then you get punished later because you wasted too much time searching. This game does that to you. <laughs> More than Lord of the Rings does. Yeah. All right. So, um, investigator phase. So it's now our chance to decide who goes first. We can change it up every time we go investigator phase. So it's a, a round just keeps looping. We each get to go once, doing two actions each, mm -hmm. similar to the zombie side. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the mythos phase, which is similar to the zombie, zombie phase from zombie side where they get to do all the bad things to us and we do little tests and stuff. So... 
action wise the main actions as you see there on the little reference sheet you can move you can like attack you can investigate something you can search um, so I don't, I don't know who should go first or anything but uh, we do know there's a loud bang uh, in this left side so okay. they, they emphasize that token the rest they they just said oh there are rooms in the mansion whatever but there's a big bang here and they give us a barricade so if we want to uh, I don't know if you can barricade it right away. I, th I think you have to open it, but I could be wrong. But I think you can just put a barricade in front of the door. I can't see why not. Yeah. Because I think maybe the app eventually could just give you this room here and just tell you, like, put this room here and get rid of this token. But uh, mm -hmm. if you explore and you don't like what you see, you can put a barricade up and it just slows the monster down coming at you or any any other investigator or person or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, that's what that's there for. So it's obviously hinting, I would think, that. There's monsters about. You want me to go open the doors? I can go first. Yeah. Uh, we each have two but if, you, if you don't open the door, then what, what would happen? Is it, possible, is it possible that that door could just open? Yes. The, the, it's yeah, possible. It's Anything's own. possible. Yes. There are things, like, if you don't explore certain things, things could happen. Oh, like, okay. it, 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 you will talk to people, and they'll be telling you, go search the library, go search the den, go search the office. And if you ignore that for long enough, the app will start, like, punishing you and pushing you that way, probably. Like, I've seen that happen before. Maybe that doesn't Lord of the Rings more, but I feel like I feel like that happens here too. Okay. Um, okay. So. Um, Just go first. Yeah, I'll go first. Sure. Uh, I will. I am going to go. Uh, I'll actually just search this thing in our space. Okay, you're gonna look through the papers. Yeah. Disheveled paper set on the table. So if it has this little symbol here with the little arrow, it's it's an action. You waste an action to do that, or you have to spend an action to do it. The paper stacked on the table are invitations marked with today's date. The stars have come around to their positions in the cycle of eternity. The Vanderbilt Astronomy Association quarterly invites you to a celebratory evening. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. Okay. All right. Uh, and now I have one other action. I will... Uh, I'll move one this way. Mm, no, I'll just from our space, I'll actually explore this one. This door leads to a small front room of the mansion. So I'm going to click the explore action. Uh, so you need to grab the office tile from the corset. Uh, okay, the light from the entryway entry shines into the dimly lit office as you open the door. A lamp sits on a large wooden desk, casting long shadows across a mess of papers and books scattered around the room. Discard this explore token and place the office tile and a wall as indicated. It's so a wall on the top right here. I don't know if you can move this while it's like that. No, you can't, of course. Okay. Uh, the desktop under the lamp is cluttered with papers. Place a search token as indicated. And... Across the room, a bookcase stacked with books and other items against the one wall. Uh, among the items, you spot something useful. Place the riot whistle. Uh, uh, common item. And investor, you pick up an item in the space as part of the trade action. So, riot whistle. Okay. So, this is also from the expansion. Uh, it's equipment once per round. Uh, you or another investigator within range may re-roll any number of dice while evading a monster. Like a distraction mm. tactic. So that will just sit in that space until someone goes and picks it up. And it will continue. Uh, you may move one space into the explored area, which I will do. Okay, so that's my turn. That's my two actions. Okay. Uh, let's zoom this out here. You want on that screen? Uh, Is that how you want it? Sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, do you want to go next or do you want me to go next? I'll open the door on the other side. Sure, open it. Okay, so I will investigate. Okay. So we're going to investigate the left room here where yeah. the ruckus. So ruckus could be heard on the other side of this door shouting and a crash of pots and pans. Is that hissing? Uh-oh. Hissing? What the heck? All right, a door swings open to reveal a dining room in chaos. An aging man in a tailcoat scrambles through a serving window into the kitchen as he tries to escape a strange black creature writhing on the dining room table. Discard this explorer token 
and place the dining room tile and a wall as indicated. So, um, like, how, how you click these things, can you just click those at any time yes, and not and actually go forward? Correct, yes. Oh, so if you want to, like, before you even do an action, you kind of like, do I want to go after this or this? You yeah, can, like, re-click yeah, yeah. them. That's why I was joking, like, you have to memorize it all, but you, you don't really. <laughs> I see. Uh, okay. And you can always back out. That's why you saw one of the options always has the spend an action to click here, but the other one doesn't. It's usually like just a leave them alone or cancel it out or, okay. you know. Uh, so we have, I think it's this guy. Hey, what is this guy? Hunting yeah. horror? Yes. Yeah. All right, so we got a big bad hunting oh. horror. Uh, the creature turns to face you. His black serpentine body shifts and changes, playing tricks on your eyes as you try to focus on it. The creature unfurls its leathery wings and unleashes a blood-curdling screech. Spawn a hunting horror is indicated. Then suffer to horror, but your will negates. Three, please. Right there beside. Oh, you. didn't even see this. You want know, your glasses? I understand. Uh. So you can spend two. a clue token to turn one of those investigation results into a success. Yeah, I will. I don't want right, to take so that no yet. All right, so no horror for you, and it is face up horror. If it doesn't state anything else, it will tell you if it's face down. So by default, horror is face up or damage the same thing. Uh, okay, so continue. Oh, in the same space, we're going to get the uh, knife, common item. So in the center of the dining table, a carving knife sits embedded into a roast. Ooh. Uh, that's kind of cool. Juicy. So we get the knife. It's a bladed weapon. has to be melee. Attack for one. Um, it can cut many things, including monsters. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so the knife is there in the space with it. So, so these guys' stats is... Uh, okay, so on the back... This guy has flying. The monster can move through impassable borders. There are none on the board right now, but they are. This is a regular border, this white one here. But mm -hmm. if you see it, oh, it is right there. A dotted yellow or dotted white, that's impassable. You can see through this little window, but you can't go through it. But this door, you can go through. Got it. But this has range. You can shoot through this uh, or set fire through there or whatever, just like you can through a door. But you just can't pass through it. But some monsters can, uh, like this guy. He can pass through that. So, and then it says, black and ropey and relentless, the creature flies swiftly, always seeking its quarry, its ever-changing form is hard to see from mortal eyes. So it has three brawn, which only matters when you go to push it, or it's going through a barricade, I believe that's all you care about that number on the bottom for. Uh, but the, the top right is awareness, so when there's multiple monsters in space and you're with them, and you're trying to escape the space, you do a move. Uh, or do any action except for attack. Except for attack. Yeah. You have to evade the highest awareness monster. If you are uh, in the mythos phase, that's like when the zombies go or whatever the bad guys go, uh, you will do, uh, if there are multiple monsters within range of you, and range isn't through walls, it's not through doors, it's literally in the same room, uh, range would be, yeah, just here. This is like, Range is within three spaces away, but right now the only thing I see on the board is like two range away. So it's like across these like little lines is fine, but not through when uh, through there is fine, but not through doors, right? I believe that's how it works. Yeah, not through doors. Uh, but yeah, so that's. So can this guy do anything to us being here? No, no, no. I so the horror, the horror check thing, you would just check the highest horror guy when you're doing a horror check or whatever. Uh, we'll deal with that when it comes up though. Um, but otherwise, his health. Uh, if we can check that right now, if it lets us, nope. Okay. Uh, we need to place a china cabinet stands against the wall, uh, though it looks to have been repurposed to store all manner of knickknacks. Place the search tokens indicated. Mm, what else? What knickknacks would be in there? All right. You can see the kitchen through the serving window. Most of the cabinets are ajar due to the food preparation, but one that has been locked shut with a chain catches your attention. Place the search tokens indicated. Ooh. In the kitchen, you can also see that someone has left the refrigerator open. Water leaks in, out into a puddle on the floor. Place the search token is indicated. Ooh, you spot the old man you saw climbing through the serving window, huddling in the corner behind the oven. Sweat beads off his brow and his eyes bulge in terror. Place a person token is indicated. This is Eugene the butler. That's the guy that called us. <laughs> you may move one space into the explored area. What? Okay, before... Sorry. Why would you do that though? Before I do that, it always give you that option when you explore a new room. You get like a free move oh, into it if you want. Yeah. Like, can Can you tell I me know. how much his uh, health yes. is before I move in? Because I do have one more action. All right. So he's got zero damage on so far. He has six health. Six. Hmm. Okay. I will use that to move in. 
Okay. So then that was action one. Action two, I will attack. All right. I will be attacking using a firearm. Is that using Becky? Yes. Attack with a firearm. As the creature's limbs writhe and flail, you wait for your moment and then fire off a single shot. So you're looking for agility. Okay, my agility is four. So she's rolling four dice, she's looking for two successes. Because that's saying she needs a two to pass. Got it. If you pass, your bullet strikes true. If the monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. If you fail, you're certain that you'll hit, but the most monster seems unconcerned. Okay, so looking for two. Certainly you're hit. Uh, I will make it a two. So spend your spend last my last token. investigation, or my clue token, yes, to make that a success. Change the investigation to a success? Yes, so my firearm does four damage. Okay. So he's got two left. Um, that is my turn. All right. Any chance you want to finish him? Yeah. <laughs> so the cool part is, as part of a move, so you could move in there one. Mm -hmm. You can interrupt a move of two spaces if you want. Or you can only move one space, your choice. But you could then attack him. If you defeat him, you still have one move left, so you could still move another space as part of that first action you used on moving. Okay. So, yeah, I'll move in. Or you could just throw a barricade there, let, leave her to die. <laughs> 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 There's always that yeah. option. <laughs> All right. Okay, move in. I got a heavy weapon. Okay, so we bring the monster up out of the monster drawer here. It's got four damage on it out of six. You're going to attack, and you said a heavy weapon? Yeah. Okay. You wait for the creature to strike, ready to return the blow at the same moment. You're doing agility, you're just looking for a one pass. So I, I'm doing three? Yep. yep. So roll three dice. You're looking for one success. And you got it. You got it. So you pass, the creature's attack creates an opening, and you swing your weapon with all your might. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. Two. Two? Okay. Beautiful, that's, that's exactly we what we needed. All right, are you sure you want to discard this monster? Mm, I would think so. Confirm. Okay. Alright, so you get an extra clue token because your ability right there after defeating go. a monster, or whenever a monster is defeated, gain yeah. a clue. Alright, the creature lurches to the ground dead. Hearing the monster's final fate, uh, the old man in the kitchen cautiously steps out. Move Eugene as indicated. So he says, oh, oh, oh this coast is clear now, I don't need to hide behind an oven. <laughs> All right. Was he behind? No, he's behind That's what like, it said, he was behind uh, an oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like he's, cowering He's hiding over here behind an oven somewhere. Okay, and now Kyle, you still do have one more move if you do want to move. So I can pick up the knife if I wanted? No, no. you have a move only. So use an action to oh. move and use an action to attack. You're only allowed two actions. But the move, you've only used one space of the two you're allowed. What, yeah. if, what if Eugene's like, hey, everyone in you my don't space? Have to you don't have to move. You yeah, can stay no, there but, and be there for next I, turn. But then you're not here to explore things if you want, yeah. if you want it's to rifle you. through the knickknacks. I want to see what the knickknacks are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, next turn. Next turn. So we're good. So That's all of us. Yep. So we go on to the mythos phase. All right, so in the mythos phase, we'll confirm to end the investigative phase. All right, a low song just beyond the edges of hearing wafts through the air. The myth this mythos, mythos event affects the investigator who has the most items. Well, we're all tied with two. No, nope, oh. I have spells. I don't have items. Get out of here. Items are only common and unique items. Okay, then I have two. You guys both have two, so you choose who's the one with the most items. Um, is this bad or good? Probably bad. It's always bad. Do you want me to take it? Sure, in case? Sure. I'll take it. All right, give me the first one. All right. Your palms become clammy and your pulse races. A wave of powerful, ruinous greed runs through you. So test your will, looking for a pass of one. So my will is three. I have no clue tokens. Punishing us because we're doing so good, we kill that monster fast. I fail. You fail. All right. So we'll skip the pass part. If you fail, you are revolted by your own avarice, avarice and hurl some of your items away. From you, drop one random item. So oh, I might lose random. it. We'll do it as. Oh, we don't have a d6, do we? Dang, nab it. Uh, all right, spyglass or elder sign. Spyglass. I don't know the odds of whatever, but. So that was this one. Yeah, there's more chances of elder sign. Was that anyways, this? Yeah. Drop your gun. Well, I'm gonna pick it up. So. We need a d6. We need a d6. Uh. If you can mute for a second, I'll just. Yeah. We'll be right back in one second.
All right, we're back. Okay. So let's go. I think see how the game ends right there. But uh -huh. when you put it up on the big screen, like the board is actually. Like, see how it's touching the edge there, and on there it's not. Oh, but I meant to have that black bar there. Oh, I see. That's on purpose. Yeah, yeah. But is that throwing off the mouse? Mm, I don't think so. Wait here. Let me just do this. Uh, where is the capture cursor? No more cursor for you. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. Let's get the app back. And there is the dice. Okay. So yeah, we'll just roll. Okay. We'll just roll that if we need to decide randomly anything. Okay. Uh, so we drop the item. Yep, yep I failed so. that. I'm going to pick that item up when so I... So that's it for the Mythos phase. Yeah. No horror checks because there's no You're monsters. You're going to pick it up? It's mine. Or I want it. Gonna pick it <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So then we decide who's going first? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could go first and talk to Eugene. If you guys want to know what's going on. Yeah, I think I'm just going to search this thing and then I'm just going to search the knickknacks. You, you want to go first then? Yeah, search the you search the knickknacks and we'll see what's Yeah, you there. go first. Okay. So if like a monster sure. jumps out and starts fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A china cabinet has been repurposed to store all manner knickknacks. Search. All manner of knickknacks. The cabinet holds candles, wooden statuettes, stones, beads, and other random objects. You try to discern what they could be for. So you're going to test your lore. Now, we don't know the pass on this, so this kind of test, there's a secret value that's a pass hidden in the app that you're going to just try on this and add your successes. You may fail, but it will remember how many successes you've done so far. So the next time you try it and get successes, it adds to that total until you've hit that magical, invisible success. What if I go over? It does, that's, that's fine. You're better fine. for oh. you. Sometimes <laughs> it gives you even better oh, stuff if you get like super yeah. high. It may only be one. It may yeah, be even yeah, zero. Yeah. We don't even know. It may be ten. Who knows? Yeah, but anyways, so for lore, I'm rolling three. Uh, is yep. that your lore is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you got nothing unless you'd like to use a clue token to convert. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm really curious. All right, so <laughs> one. Confirm. Looks like you're fine. Uh, as you dig through the objects, you begin to form a hunch that makes you uneasy. You have heard of objects such as these found at the site of the occult's rituals. They could prove useful to your investigations. Gain the circumstantial evidence unique item. And one clue. Oh, the one you just spent. Lucky yes. you. There you go. <laughs> then discard Circumstantial this. evidence. So it's evidence, just a bit more, and this case is closed. So some things will say make things easier for you based on the amount of evidence you have. Oh, if you're holding evidence, reach one, add an automatic success to this test oh, and stuff okay. like that. So it's just like a generic thing, but having them is good. Uh, then discard the search token. Yep, done. Okay. Yep. So you have one more action. What would you like to do? I do. Yep, because that yep. was only first uh, one. Move back. Just one space? Yeah, what if this guy has You're like handouts? Becky? Still back? No, he can't. No, he doesn't have any actions left. <laughs> okay, so you going to stop there? We've got to talk to Eugene, right? That's the idea? Uh, anyway. Yeah, you want me to go next? Uh, sure. Okay, so first I'm going to pick up Becky. Pick up. Do I pick up the knife too, or do you want the knife? You're allowed to pick up as much as you want with a single trade. I think, I'm not sure if this is correct. You can let us know in the comments below or in the chat if you're watching this live. But when you do a trade action, I believe you can trade, if you had like three guys in the space, you can trade with all of them as much as you want, or as little as you want. But I think when you're doing that single trade action, you can also pick up and drop things and trade all together for that one trade action. Anything in your space goes, is my understanding. Yeah. So. But now. You could pick this up and trade it to whoever wants to have a knife. That's what I mean. Because it says, it's, because it says pick the knife up as part of the trade action, right? So it's like pick up is not its own action. I know, it's, that's what I'm saying. So I yeah, I think you're right. Space, you can go wild. I think you're right. Um, so I'm gonna pick up both right now. Do you want the knife? Because you're in the same space with me, I can give it to you. Or are you just holding it? Or I'll just hold it and again? Yeah, pass I don't it to him. Need it right you don't need right it? Okay. Yeah. So then I'll take it. Just yeah, if case. it was like a range thing too, then yeah, take yeah. that with no, melee. Two by four is fine. Okay, so that was my first action, and then my, I'll use my second action. Are any of those double sided? This is not double sided. Right? Let me no. Check this already. Oh, this thing is. Oh, you can use an action on the two by four. You brace the door with the board, yeah. flip this card, and place it against the door. And you're oh, so it acts like a barricade. Yeah. yeah. But you can keep using it as a weapon, obviously. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. I'll use my second action to talk to Eugene. Okay. I want to find out what's going on. All right, so let's take a peek here. 
So the old man brushes himself off and tries to calm his shaken composure. You come just in time. Thank you so much for saving me. The name is Eugene. We spoke earlier today. I heard noises from the attic, but the door is locked. I think something bad is going to happen. Now you can use an action to ask, are you okay? Or you can use an action to say, where's Mr. Vanderbilt? Or you can ignore him. Uh, where's Mr. Vanderbilt? Where's Mr. Vanderbilt? Those ruffians took Mr. Vanderbilt to the attic. You can get into the attic through the west door of the hall, but the door is locked. Mr. Vanderbilt likely keeps his key in his... Dot, dot, dot. Wait, I'm not sure if he would want me trusting you with this. So use your influence and do a test. Okay, so my influence is four. I'm going to grease his palm here. And yeah. Uh, try, to, try to get him to give you the info. I have no clue tokens, so we're just taking one. One it is. Confirm. No, no. Mr. Vanderbilt would not like me talking about this with stran that with strangers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is all we're going to find out influence from, on him. <laughs> right now. So Kyle with all his tokens there needs to be the guy to do it. How much influence do you have normally? Uh, three. Three? Next yeah. turn, because you're the only four. one that's left here. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I will... But the, the action to choose what you were talking to him, where, where did that action come from? That's just the that's interact, interact action. action. Oh, like, see on here, you have interact is one of them. That's oh, I know, but she, she used an action to pick up. Like, she only had two she actions, right? She used a trade action, which was pick up or trade anything all as one action. Yeah. And then, anything in your space. And then an action to talk to them. Yes. Yeah, so selecting the... she's done. That's two actions. So, yeah, so where did the action come from when you were selecting the... That option? was me talking to him. Oh, that was part of yeah, it. That yeah, that was yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can always click on him, and if yeah, you didn't yeah, yeah, click yeah. one of those two, that's not an action. Got it, got it, got it. So her actually doing the action was me clicking the option. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, because watch, I can look on him right now. Yeah, yeah. And there's only one option left. Where's the key? But I can not. I only spend an action if I click it because that's what that symbol is. Is the action yeah, symbol. Yeah, yeah. So if I ignore him, I didn't use anything. I'm good. And you can do that from anywhere. So you can even like click on anything, even if you're not in the room. You can be like, okay, what's this again? Mysterious painting. Okay, cool. Cancel. Because yeah, you what, might not want to go again? over there for no reason. This is a door that leads deeper in the mansion. Okay, cool. What's what's this one? Probably says the same thing. Yep. <laughs> okay, we don't know anything about those doors. Now what's this? I want to check this. Maybe I want to do it. The desk is covered in random clutter with a small space cleared in front of the chair for working. Okay, so I'll do the search action. See, it's got the action symbol. Mm -hmm. So I'm spending an action to do this. You dig through the next paper cluttering the desk. Look for anything of interest. So I'm using my observation, which is four. And I got one. <laughs> um, let's throw another one in there for a two. All right, as you shuffle through the seemingly endless paper covering the desk, you spot a weathered journal that uh, looks out of place amidst the mundane clutter. The cover of the journal is marked Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain the old journal unique item and discard the search token. Old journal. All right, got an old journal, which is also evidence. Uh, okay. And the investigator holding the old journal can read through the, its entries by interacting with it in the app. So, for fun, I am going to show you that you can click this down here just for demo purposes. I normally don't pick this, but I think we did one time where I like read through it all. I think it actually can kind of branch a path, like a little side quest kind of thing, I think. I could be totally wrong. It's been like months since uh, I did this. The Journal of Lola Vanderbilt. The pages are torn, frayed from hard use. So I will do the read actions my second action. You turn to an entry from several years ago. William has gotten increasingly secretive since he started that astronomy association. He has been working on some secret project in the attic and even installed a lock and alarm to keep people out. What he does not know is that I have found the, the wiring he installed in his bedroom in the back of the house. I can use it to unlock the door to the attic where he is gone, or when he is gone. Gain one clue. Cool. So, but okay. he's probably there because the thing's tonight. Isn't the event yeah. tonight or something? Yeah. So he does not know is that I found the wiring he installed in his bedroom in the back of the house. I can use it to unlock the door to the attic when he's gone. So go to the back, get the wiring, then go to the attic. Well, I think there's like a button in there that in the bedroom that you can use to open this locked door that they're saying is into the hall that is locked. Remember we asked the guy? Mm. And he's like, oh, I'm well, not going to tell you where it is. Because then maybe we don't need the key. Maybe. The journal entries continue on for several months. You can continue reading as an action. Well, I'm done now. I've done all my actions. Are we done our... Uh... Yep. All right, so I'll close that up. All right. So we're going to go to end the investigator phase. Start the mythos phase here and see what bad things are ahead. 
The ground is marked with arcane symbols. This mythos event affects the investigator with the lowest will. Three. At five. Oh, uh, why four. am I always the lowest on everything? Uh, you, you picked the character. I didn't pick it for you. <laughs> Jeepers. Okay. So, so I gave you a good one, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. All right, continue. Yeah. Crude etchings on the ground seem to lead you toward your destination. Test your lore. Which is two. <laughs> two. All right, you're looking for a two pass. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. And you have no clue tokens? Nope. All right. If you fail, you become hopelessly lost and befuddled. Suffer one face down horror and become dazed. Can you give clue tokens or no? Nope. No. Damn. Uh, oops, that, it? That's okay. Dazed is just the puzzle. Can't. Is it? Yeah. I don't remember dazed. Dazed. Uh, I, don't I think. think. No, no back on dazed. If it had a back, we'd have to give you a ring. You cannot spend clues to convert dice results to perform additional puzzle steps. At the end of your turn, discard this card. Okay. All right. Face on horror you got? That's got it. Bad. Okay, investigator phase. That's all we got for punishment. No baddies on the board right now, so we're okay. No okay. war checks. Um, what was this guy saying again? Uh, Eugene? Yeah, but what, what was his, his thing? It was lower? Or, uh, no, influence. influence. But influence now, it, yeah. Four. But I've... And oh, you yeah. Did, and you did one? Yeah, I did one, did yeah. One. So well, it might only be two, and all you have to get is like one success. Yeah. You want to try? You're there. It, I would to, for me to do it. I have to use yeah, two no, actions. Yeah, it doesn't make sense there. for you to do it. Yeah, you want to try or you want sure. me to try? Sure, no, I'll try. Okay. Okay. So Kyle, we're gonna go first. He'll do Eugene. All right. The old man looks conflicted. He obviously wants to tell you how to access the attic, but he cannot bring himself to reveal Mr. Oh, Animal's secrets. Oh, is this secrets. just a waste? Because we already know how to access the attic. It might be. So you can completely ignore him if you want. Or we can try to find the key. But we don't know where the uh, key is. That's the thing. That, There's probably, there could be two ways options. then. Yeah, 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 it gives us options. One might be further. One might have monsters involved right, or right. puzzles and All stuff. Right, let's do this. Where's the key? Where's the key? I feel like it hasn't been giving us monsters and punishing us much mm -hmm. until we like kick this off. And then it's like, <laughs> All right, here's the monsters now that you know where to go. Uh, Eugene is reluctant to tell you anything more. You attempt to coax the information out of him. With influence. Two. 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 All right, yeah, let's just do that. So we have a total of three you've entered so far? Yeah. All right. Mr. Vanderbilt has a hidden office that he often retreats to. The door is hidden in the estate's library, which is through the east door when you get into the hall. East door when you get into the hall. We haven't gone into a hall yet. Oh, this, so it's got to be... Well, the well, something hall... something else said go to the west. Uh, that's where the door was that's locked. They said it's in oh. the west, west end of the hall. Well, we don't know where north is. Well, it's in the app. It's like uh, north is up. Yeah, so it's down. Yeah. West is, yeah, it's just, just literally left, right, and all that in the app. As as we see it on, on the screen. Uh, okay, so the door is hidden in the estate's library. It uses a very strange lock hidden behind a bookshelf. The butler instructs you how to open the secret door in the library. Gain one clue. You give it to him? Yep. Yeah. All right. I have one more action. So all the things we need to go to are through one of these doors or both these doors. Obviously, mm -hmm. we don't have a hall yet. We only have an office, a kitchen, a dining room, and a lobby. <laughs> but he said it was east in the hall? Is that what he said? Uh, yeah. Yeah, east. Uh, yeah. Through the east door when you get into the hall. Okay. And then what was west? The locked door. The locked door. door. Yeah. Uh... uh... Oh, can we not go back that far? Oh, that's a different round, right? Um, uh, I'm just going to move here. You gonna? Oh, he told us that, right? That was in round two, probably. Bedroom in the back of the... Oh, that was from the book. Uh, no, that's the journal. It's fine. I know, I know. I might just be... Was there something? A west door right there. You okay. can get to the attic through the west door of the hall, but the door is locked. Okay. So the east end of the hall is the library where his office is hidden in there behind a bookshelf. The west end of the hall is the, is the door to the attic that's locked. And there's a bedroom somewhere in all of this that has some and secret wiring and a button or something. Well, there's a backyard too, right? And a backyard. Because <laughs> that's where you get the wiring diagram or something. Right? That was the wiring diagram? Shit. <laughs> there was something in the back. It was, it was like, I thought I don't it was, remember anything yeah, about a backyard. Yeah, my memory's not that good. Jeepers. Okay. That was in the journal. We just did it. I'm pretty sure it was the... I thought it was, it was the bedroom. 
is where the wiring was. The new wiring in the bedroom. Oh. And that's yeah. how she knows. Well, is there any outdoor tiles? If there's not, then there are lots. There's <laughs> lots of outdoor tiles. There are hundreds we have. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Let's just explore the mansion. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. I love the discovery of this. It's like you don't know what's in the next rooms, right? Like it's like find what's there. Like who knows? Is there a backyard? Is there a driveway? Is there a garage? We, like we don't know. <laughs> so I love this. I love this. This is a driveway. We drove there. Well, yeah, it could we... be a driveway on the side, around the back, to like some <laughs> other special house, garage, mini yeah, guest yeah, house guess, thing. These are mansions, yeah, man, yeah. in the nineteen twenties. Yeah. You have one more action too. I moved. Oh, you moved there. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just one space. Okay. That's all I can move. No, so you, you can move two. Hold on. So what? With a move, you can move two spaces. Oh, well, well, then I'm going to move Listen, two. listen. This is the refrigerator. This yeah, is the refrigerator. Yeah. This, you this want to is... check the refrigerator? No, I want to or... check the cabinet. You want to check? Yeah, the, the locked cabinet. Yeah, locked cabinet. Okay. Okay, but you don't have an action to do that this turn, All right? right? So no, you're but I'm okay. prepped for... Uh, Eugene is good, right? Do we need to talk to him anymore? I don't know. Let's check. Can you do anything? I don't know. Nope. Please hurry. Mr. Vanderbilt is in danger. Okay, so He's in danger of what? I don't, I don't know. Remember, they said the the ruffians took him monsters, to the. He's well, where is he? He's locked in the the attic. attic. Yeah, we gotta go help him. We gotta go find him. Okay, I'll go next. I'll do a move for one. Um, east door or west door? North or east in this one? <laughs> well, yeah. North door. East north, door. north, Two. north, then west. Okay, I'm, and I'm then assuming I'll, she's I'll gonna explore interact. east. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we find. Explore. The door leads deeper into the mansion. Explore. Ooh. Oh, boom. Okay. Uh, it's the same room. Yeah, so we get rid of the, <laughs> so the cool part is you actually get rid of the explore token from both. Uh, the door opens into a dimly lit hallway that winds through the heart of the mansion. Place hall corner two and hall end, which are both from the core tiles, which should be in that pile. I had all the core stuff together. Which was on top of that stack. You've probably... No, I didn't. No, it was not on top. 100% it all was. Well, I didn't move any of this. Okay, sorry. What do I need? Hall. Hall corner two. And what was the other one? Uh, hall end. Hall end. Hall end. So it's on top of this. Maybe I did. Maybe when I put it down, I... Yeah. Yeah, just keep... Top. I have all organized by expansion. So okay. if we see a certain thing... And then, I, and then I put all the starter stuff in its own pile, all the expansion stuff in a separate pile. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, I'll take this. No, we probably oh, we might need them. There's three doors. All right. A wooden desk stands against the wall. Place the search token as indicated. Someone acting in a hurry has knocked over a stack of papers. Place the search token as indicated. Three doors lead to other rooms of the mansion. Place explorer tokens as indicated. You could use the surrounding furniture to barricade the door should you need a rise. Place a barricade as indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. The barricade was here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then I may move one space. I will do that. Done. So that was my two actions. So this so brings up some interesting point about range. So when something says within range, I was talking about it before. Mm -hmm. So something here would be in range of you. Something through this window would be in range of you. Yep. But not through this door like this yeah, space right here would not be in range of you yep but here so i think the reason why they put these little lines here just to understood this today as i i read about it oh because that's in range yeah yeah like a monster here from this space is one two three away you could shoot that far or he's within range of you, you. don't count your own space your space is zero one two three. Oh. yes so oh sorry yeah yeah i'm not counting my own space i'm just counting three away so that is range sorry i didn't so even you notice know. those lines Okay, that's something I learned today, which is weird, that we've maybe not played right before. Okay, so we're all set up. Uh, your turn. All right. Uh, I don't think I care about the whistle. What? It's a cool whistle, man. <laughs> Once per round, you or another investigator within range may reroll any number of dice while invading a monster. Mm, we don't invade, we just kill. Um, so what are we trying to do? Check out the library or check out a bedroom? Both. Yeah. <laughs> So one. Oh, I get to discard that then my turn. Just, uh, just the happened. days? Thing. Yep. Okay. Uh, one. You can just walk through that door, right? Two. Yep. Yeah. Uh, three, four. What? Yeah. Each movement. I used two. Oh, I see. Two yeah. movements yeah. back to back. Yep. So I'm done. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's end the investigator phase.
Confirm. Mythos phase. Tommy Muldoon runs frantically from unsun from some unseen evil, only to lose his footing. Agility tests. Looking for two. Four. Poor, poor Tommy. Man. So Tommy know, right? needs to start searching these yellow tokens to find clues. I know, right? Okay, so my agility is four. Uh, one. So you fail. Correct. He slams head fist. <laughs> Head first into a wall. Tommy Muldoon <laughs> suffers one face down damage and becomes stunned. Oh, the, oh serenity head now. First. That's, uh, head first, sorry. Head first, I don't know what else. It's been a long read. day. Everyone knows this, I can't read. Uh, all right. Uh, and stunned. And different backs? No. Okay, so you cannot perform more than a single action during your turn. At the end of your turn, discard this card. Cool. Sweet. Continue. All right, we're good. <laughs> you got a comment there, but I cannot see from this. Uh, Omni, hey, how's it going? Uh, thought only Rita could move that many times. Oh, I was just doing two move actions in a row. I was just doing two moves. I didn't explore on the same turn, right? No. no. That was no, last no. round. Was yeah, last you time. moved for you one, just, you two. You just read the whistle, that was it. One, two, and then yeah. moved again for one, two. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there was no quicker way, right? You one, know why? Two, because three, one. Two, three, four. Yeah, so because, I had to go that way. Because we always do it. We count one, two, three, four, but we probably should say one, two, one, yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's so, just our bad. Yeah, because... it was just two back to back normal moves. No extra spaces were involved. That was my two actions. That's all I was doing. All right. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for holding us accountable. Yeah. You can do the same action twice in a row unless you're being punished somehow. And you yeah. Can't. Okay, so. Who's going first? Uh, good question. Um. I was just going to explore this token here. I'm just going to explore. Because I figured. Well, now I can only Tommy do. Tommy Muldoon's on this side, so he could go that way. Yeah, but I cannot perform more I'm than a single action. I'm assuming this is locked because we said the west door was locked. So I know we don't have a key. Uh -huh. And I'm going to try to find a bedroom to play with some wiring or the library. But the library we knew was at the east end. Mm -hmm. Through probably that door. Okay. All right, so that's all I'm going to do is try to go up in that, or explore that room or whatever, hall or whatever it is. You want to work on your cabinet first? It doesn't matter, the order for me. Okay. Because I can't get to you if... Uh, you suspect the unmarked door leads to a bedroom. Oh, we didn't click any of these yet. How do you suspect? A wood plaque marked library <laughs> is fastened <laughs> to the center of the door. Wow. And then here was... That's the... the a desk. desk. You can use this as an end table. Several large drawers locked by a combination. And this is papers that are scattered about. Oh, well, here, I'll make this easy. I'll go first. And I'll okay. move, but I'm only going to move one space, and I can only do one action. So my turn is done. Okay, so stun, gotcha. Oh, oh it does say discard at the end of your turn, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's me. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, I'll just go, and I'm going to do this uh, bedroom here, this unmarked door. Uh, the door opens to a bedroom that seems modest compared to the decor in the rest of the mansion. Discard this explorer token and place the bedroom two tile as indicated. So this is probably the butler's so bedroom. Here this explorer. It's got to be the butler's room. No, the butler has like quarters, doesn't don't they? Uh, near oh. the door, a small writing desk holds an immense book. Place the search tokens indicated. In the far corner, a large chest sits next to the master bed. Place the search tokens indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. Sure. And then I'll just... Mm, <laughs> the book or whatever the other thing is. But I can't do the other one because I can only move to it. Yeah. So maybe I'll just explore what I'm massive on. Massive tome. So let me let me try to search this. Okay. What? What's a massive tome? There's a big ass book. Yeah. Full of spells. Like something like Gandalf would read. Yeah. Oh, I see. You, pull, <laughs> <laughs> you pull a creaking wooden chair up to the desk and attempt to decipher the archaic scribblings on the tome's pages. So I'm using my lore of three. Two. You guys got much better rolls than me. That's how we roll. Get it? <laughs> As you slowly piece together the script, it reveals the directions to some vile ritual meant to summon beings from realms beyond reality as well as instructions on the magics to contain them. Gain the Arcane Manuscript Common Item. Okay. 
which is roll one additional die when resolving lore tests, which oh. we could have used on this test. Oh, yeah, I got to get rid of my thing. Uh, then discard the search token. Yeah. Yep, it. done. Okay, thanks, guys. No problem. All right, so my turn is finito. Okay, I'm going to... You're this. going to check uh, what's what going I, on. What is this doing? Searching, exploring. What am I doing? Searching. 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 That's a search token. Uh, exploring is when you go into another room. Or what's what's the little uh, magnifying glass thing? That is a clue token. This clue. is investigation. Jesus. On on the that's a interact token. Or interact, sorry. This is investigation <laughs> result. Uh huh. Not a clue, even though it looks like the clue token. This is investigation. <laughs> this is a success. Okay. Also known as an elder sign. <laughs> yeah, it's all a mess. <laughs> Got to be in the Lord and all all of the words they're using. Okay, I'm gonna search this locked cabinet thing. All right, let's check it out first before you before you commit. You may want to check it out now after we read this. Someone has locked this cabinet by wrapping a chain around the handles. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Do you have the strength you need I, to break that chain or the smarts to, yeah, yeah, I got to this. break the lock? I got this. To, to, to pick the lock? Or are you able to run from whatever comes out of it? The, chain is, the chain is sturdy, but the cabinet doors are made of thin wood. You think you could break one of the doors off. Use your strength. Roll two additional dice if you have the crowbar common item. No, we don't. Well, the game knows we don't have it because it would have given it to us. <laughs> Programmer fail. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm gonna roll two. Where's my strength? Top one, four. Four. Yeah, so you're a big burly guy. See if you can bust it off. Uh, one. one. Is that wait, wait. No, I'm gonna. Nope, oh, no, you I don't have any. Nope. <laughs> it's not gonna be enough. One, come on. Oh, it's so enough. The wood cracks, and you cut open. You cut open your palm on the jagged wood as you pull the cabinet door off its hinges. So maybe you wouldn't have hurt yourself so much if you uh, did oh, a little more. Oh, if you were more, tougher, maybe. yeah. Uh, suffer one face down damage and gain the El Elder Ward common item. So it's face down. You don't look at it. When do I look at it? You don't unless it tells you to. Elder. Some things say flip one face up. So then you kind of. Uh, discard the search token. Yep, thanks. Elder Ward equipment. Roll one additional die while a monster is attacking you. So when you're going to oh, avoid his attacks. You're like a fighting machine over there, buddy. Yeah, and he's all the way in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, something you come nasty could have came hey, out of that door. can come from anywhere. We know this. <laughs> all right. Uh, anything else? You have one action still? Yep. I do? Yep. You only... Because you were already in that space, right? When yep. you started? Uh, but now I want to know what's in the fridge. We'll go towards the fridge. Am I wasting time by doing all this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Or is there cool stuff that could come out of the fridge? <laughs> have you seen Ghostbusters? <laughs> bad, bad stuff in the fridge. That's all right. That's all right. That's where you find Zool. <laughs> all right so you're good you're gonna stop yeah, there yeah i'm gonna stop hey, there he wants to see what's in the Kyle's fridge never played before so we're just gonna let him do what he wants to do yeah and it could tank our playthrough and if you've played this a hundred times you're super efficient we've only played this mission a couple times one or two times was like a year ago yeah, when we first got the and game we played it once the other day where the map layout was completely different than this uh, just to kind of get back into the rules of the game and everything. So, but it's probably funny because they're right now yelling at the screen like, "Don't waste your time! It's nothing is in the fridge." <laughs> <A clock is laughs> ticking. Well, maybe there's something in the fridge. I don't know. That's the cool part of the replayability of this game. It sometimes changes up what's under tokens and tiles and yeah, what they so do. Yeah, so they don't know. It could no, be I know. Cool. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look in the fridge. There's probably something. Some moldy cheese or something. Yeah. This, this is in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's in the fridge, buddy. He's coming for you. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> All right, I went, it. Rob went. No. I went, yeah. yeah. Good? All yeah. done? Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, Mythos. An invisible presence passes close by Carol, F Carolyn Fern. That's me, hurling her painfully, hurling, hurling her painfully to the ground. Carolyn Fern suffers two face down damage. Oh, you can't even negate that. Yep, it's punishment time. We're taking too long. Yeah, good. It wasn't me this time. No, sharing, sharing the damage. Oh, oh, oh! A robed figure appears. A witch. Which I know what witches look like. Uh, but. From a secret door and begins searching around. Upon seeing signs of other people, the figure yells, There is someone here. You hear a muffled response from another part of the estate. Get rid of them, spawns a witch as indicated. Spawn a witch as indicated. Thank you. All right, so the witch is there. So the witch uh, has... Four damage. Oh, uh, the witch little. moves up to two spaces to be within range of as many investigators as possible. So. Oh, because this is happening right now. Yeah. One, mm. two. 
Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Cannot move to be within range, right? Sorry. Yeah. That's what we need to pick. We are doing this wrong before. Which moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator? Yeah. One, two. So we'll just stop there, even yeah, though yeah. it would be, I think, a tie for both of you guys. Whatever. We'll, we'll deal with that next time. So keep in mind, the witch is coming. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against a monster within range with the highest horror rating. After all horror checks have been resolved, tap the end button, end phase button to continue. So this monster is not within range of anyone because everyone else is through other doors. Yep. It would only be within range if it could draw over these like uh, little lines here. Oops. Okay. okay, so no horror so checks needed. that's it. No horror checks and the mythos phase confirmed. Yep. On to the investigator phase. Oh. Damn, I won't be able to open the fridge. Why? Because you're worried about the witch? Otherwise she's going to come towards me. But you can let them come to you. That's the other thing. You don't need to hunt down all the monsters. Yeah. They, they'll get to all you right, eventually. Right. Don't waste your actions, right? Like, we need to solve the mystery. I want to see uh, this I want to see this Okay, let them open the fridge. No, do the library. The library? I me see first? The library. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll... Um, explore? Explore. All right, a wooden plaque marked library is fastened to the center of the door. Explore! All right, so you need the library tile uh, and a wall. Uh, the door creaks on its hinges as you push it open to reveal the library. Bookshelves line the walls. Discard this explorer token and place the library tile and a wall as indicated. Which way does it go? This way, yeah. Right? Yeah, and then a wall covering this door because there's not really a door at the end there. Okay, and I will do that. Beauty. All right, so when you search token in there, a pile of research materials that have been recently used sit, sits on a small wooden desk. Place the search token as indicated. Okay. Oh, another Ooh. one. A robed figure is pushing a bookshelf back into place. Place the search token as indicated. Secret office in the back of the library. Yeah, clearly. Uh, the, the figure shouts with alarm upon seeing you. Spawn a witch in the library as indicated. Another witch. Oh, and then I gotta... So, then suffer one horror, but will negates. So my will is three. Uh, and I got it. Okay, so you negated it. Yeah. Beautiful. Then you may move one space into the explored area if you want. Um... You haven't done anything yet, right, other than explore? Yeah. So you still have an action if you want to attack. Uh, hold on. Let me find out what the she witch... She needed a symbol or something, didn't she? Oh, yes, yes. Because there's two of them on the board yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We need to... Uh... She's the that one. The red one, right? It was? Yeah. Okay. Let's stick it on the little back part there. So yeah. we know what the difference okay. between when the app's telling um, us to move this one and move that one. She two as well. Four. 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 Both four. Um, okay. I Becky. will move in with that. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then... Use Becky or whatever. Yeah. And then I will attack as my second action... With Becky, my firearm. Firearm. You get a second. Right, I got the right one with the symbol. Oh yeah, moving in was part of the yeah, door yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was cool with exploring. It kind of like pumps you ahead, yeah, so you don't waste an action. Uh, your hands shake as adrenaline pumps through your veins. You open fire despite the difficulty. Agility, looking for a two of a pass. Okay, so my agility's four. And I got one. Oh my god. <laughs> so you fail. I fail. Oh, if you fail, no. the shaking proves too much as your shots veer wildly off course. All right. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did here? fail because these were all. It was like uh, this. Sure. Sorry, but I have. I may reroll one die. Oh my God! You haven't using Becky, right? Well, I didn't <laughs> care. Some. I got it. I got it. So but now it said it would have dealt it to the. It would have dealt the attacks, uh, the base damage of the weapon, not your results. Okay. So four. So four. Oh, which is enough anyway. Yeah, and then you'll get a clue because I defeat her. So discard that monster. What? Who gets? Oh, you did. yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this to show that I used it this round. Okay. Well, you're done your turn anyway, so. Yeah, but mythos and all oh, those other sure. phases and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh. All right. So what else? Let's do the fridge. <laughs> you do the fridge. <laughs> all right. We all want to know. The refrigerator has been left cracked open, leaking pool water on the floor. Are you oh sure? God, she wrote this? Sea monster. <laughs> you pull open the heavy refrigerator door. Inside you see a mass of pallid flesh, slick and fragrant with the stink of the ocean. It has the shape of a tube, but surmounted by many writhing tentacles. Its eyes are fixed and dead, staring and seeing too much. You push aside a raw squid to find something useful. Gain the track, shoes, common item, then discard the search token. He found shoes in the fridge. Behind a squid. <laughs> I was trying to make it sound. I was trying to make it sound like Cthulhu's coming to get you some yeah, evil yeah, monster. Yeah, no, it's, it's track shoes. It's trying to be funny. There we go. 
Leave track them. shoes, equipment. You may move one additional space as part of a move action. There you go. Sweet. Wow. I can catch up now. You're like Johnny Weapons and items here. Yeah, you got all the good uh, stuff. You can trade, you know. There's no limit on this stuff. No, is there? no, no you're okay. good. Awesome. Uh, so that was one action. Yep. So now I can do a second action. I can move three spaces, but then I'll be right. That's fine. I think I'm fine. One, two. No, no, no. Yeah. When you're in this space, you stop. That's uh, your use two of it. Now you have to do an evade test to get out if you want, or you stop and stay there. Your choice. Do you want to try to evade? Sure. What's the? If you fail the evade, you just will forfeit the rest of your move. Okay. Sure. So we'll show you evade. Here we go. Not. Why not? So you're gonna evade. To attempt to get away. Resolve an evade check. Confirm. As you dash past the witch, shrieking and cursing, tears at your mind. So you're gonna test will. So what's your will? The bottom one. Four. four. So roll four. You're looking for a two. Uh, uh, one. Spend the clue yeah, token. Spend, spend the clue. Okay, for sure. So you're good. If you pass, you ignore the unsettling sensations. If you fail, you realize you're cutting your own flesh. Suffer one face down damage and horror. But you don't, so you can now continue your move. If that's the way you want to go, you could also move here or here as your last move. If that changes. No, no, no you're good that way. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, so you're done. I still have to go, right? You do. Yep. So I'll move one. Interrupt my move action by checking the whoops nightstand, whatever it was in the back. A heavy, heavy chest, chest sits in the corner yeah. near the bed. You notice scuff marks on the floor that indicate that it has regularly moved. Oh, secret passageway. You drag the chest across the wooden floor and hear an audible click. You look under the chest to see a small alcove in the floor hiding a jumble of electric wiring. Ooh. You seem to have triggered something, and now you can hear a steady ticking from within. You attempt to rewire the device to stop the timer. Tap to attempt. That's a bomb. I was going to say. Tap to attempt a puzzle <laughs> using observation. How's your observation over there? What? Yours? Oh. Okay. So uh -uh. I have four. Oh, okay. So what, four times? Yeah, yeah. so I'm trying so to get four, this four over moves. to here. One. Uh, the, the gray thing. How far do the pieces move? Up All and down, down or left or right? All the way down? Yeah. Oh. So I would do like one, yeah. two, three, <laughs> four. Oh. It's not a hard one. This is the first scenario. It's not, I know. It's not meant to like challenge us too much, I don't think. All right. You definitely cut the wires and twist others together to reroute power. As the ticking stops, you hear a click from the other side of the wall out in the hallway. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. I heard a click. Did that open the door? Which hallway? This hallway? Oh, on the other side and of the wall. On the other side, here. So oh, we heard a click. That so door might be open now. Probably. Well, let's Kyle check. Let's check. Yeah, yeah, no, course. we don't need to. We can check it right now. Even Come though on. we're done. Let's see what it says. A weathered door at the end of the hall is cracked open. So we can explore. Oh. It. Before it would have been locked. It would tell you you got to get a key yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. But it did say that. So you don't need to go in the library anymore. I'm just joking. Yeah, I know. It's too late now. Okay, that's us. Well, because she was trying to find the key hidden But the guy's still there. The guy went into the room. No, right? that was the witch. Because it said the guy oh. saw you and then it, that's, yeah. that was the thing. Yeah, I still want to but there's still it. something in there. Probably. Because it said there's a key back there, right? That's what that's what Eugene was telling us. Yeah, but we'll... This so I learned from the wife's journal thing. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're done? Yep. Okay. I wonder if there'd still be a key now that the door's open. Yeah, I don't see why not. Oh, yeah, I guess. We could try to find out. You're right there. Maybe you'll find some cool item instead. Uh, your hand begins to burn. This mythos event affects the investigator with the most items. Hmm. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I only have, I have two. Th I have three. So it's going to be Kyle. He's getting punished for carrying stuff. <laughs> the object in your hand glows with heat, and you instinctively drop it. You nurse your hand, which is now scarred by an agonizing burn. Suffer one face down damage and drop one random item. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Come on, man. Four. No, not that one. Two by four. It's Drop. just dropped. You got to pick in your it up space. now. Now you got to waste an action to pick it back up, oh. or you say, I don't care, and you keep moving. All right. You can always trade a weapon right. off her. She's got a little knife for yeah, you. Yeah, I got a knife you can oh, have, but then you got to come get it in the I library. I like my wood, though. <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. The witch moves up to two spaces to be within range of as many investigators as possible. Then it attacks so, the investigator within range. Okay. Yes, this time we're okay, good. Okay, so he's just going to go here in mm -hmm. your space. Yep. And the monster attacks. Tiny homunculus, whatever that means, appears on your shoulder, demanding the answer to a riddle after riddle while holding a sharp claw to your throat. 
suffer three damage, but lore plus one negates. So your lore is three, so you can roll four, four dice because it's plus one. So you're trying to negate three damage. So one, you two. can spend a clue to stop all three, yep. which okay. you did. And it says if you suffer one or more damage, which you didn't, the claw is running with an exotic greenish black ichor become dazed, but you don't. Okay, okay so we're good. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against a monster within range with the highest horror rating. All right. So, so just Kyle. It's only you. So we're going to do a horror check against oh, this guy. Check. The witch gestures, writing in the air with a blood prick nail. You glance down and realize that cryptic and disturbing writing is appearing on your skin, crawling like wet ink. Suffer three face on horror. Uh, lore plus one negates. That's the same thing you just did. One, two, three. three. There wow. you go. You. So Lucky you don't worry rolls. about any of that stuff. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so we kill her? No. The mythos phase. We don't fight. <laughs> you you got to attack her if you want to fight her. All right. With your two by four that's on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I Can I pick it up while she's in the uh, space? Then you have to do an evade. For doing any other action but attack, you need to, to do an evade check. You could just fight her unarmed. Yeah. Don't you have that thing? Or no, is that... I have it. Oh. Which is no, what? I don't oh, think we have that. You, yeah. If no. I fight unarmed, what, what am I Oh, fighting? so this is an next round, right? Oh, you had this. You could Just use... Just hands and fists. Uh, whenever you're worried, roll one additional die when a monster is attacking you. You could have rolled uh, five each time right there. Or no, only in the attack, not the horror. Yeah, yeah. but he passed it anyways. So, uh, if yeah. I go, like, without a weapon, what am I... What are my stats? What am I rolling with? What am I... Uh, it'll whatever, tell you it'll whatever. tell it's us. Probably, I'm not sure. Probably strength or agility. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. All right, sure. You want to try it? Sure. Doing it right now. She's um, not very... Oh, I wonder. She's only two, right? No, she's four. four. Oh, but okay. I just wonder if it's just your hands. Is it just what you roll? Because you don't have a stat. Maybe it'll tell you what happens. Maybe this doesn't even do anything. Maybe it's just... Uh, we'll see. All right, do yeah, it. I don't... Just yeah. do it. All right. Just do it. Attack unarmed. You are certain that if you can drive the pain of your injuries from your mind, you will last long enough to strike back. So you're testing will actually looking for a two pass. Four. So four. Let's check your items. This guy up to two. Oh, you get rid of your damage, but that costs an yeah. action to do so. Okay. Anyways, go ahead. Roll your will. Of what four. are we trying to get? Two. Uh, two. So you can spend one clue to get a two. Yeah, of course. Okay. If you pass, an opening comes mercifully soon, and you throw your weight behind a vicious elbow. The monster suffers two damage. Okay. <laughs> That's all. I was going to say, I thought it would have Do to you be... Do try again? Yeah. Usually, usually I find with attacking, uh, the first attack sometimes on a monster isn't the greatest, but then if you attack like two in a row, the next one hits even harder. Oh. All right. Do we'll see, though. I could be wrong. You challenge your enemy to fisticuffs. Your foe pauses, sizing you up. You're doing influence. Looking for a two-pass. Three. Three only. Uh, if you have suffered three or more damage, you get to roll two extra dice. Uh -huh. But you only have two. If only you got hurt more, Kyle. Too bad. Oh, uh, you, you got, got it. Too. So if you pass, you take advantage of the momentary confusion and deliver a powerful swing to the head. The monster suffers damage equal to your test result. So you could... You only need to do two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you could have turned it into more successes yeah. if you wanted to. Uh, so one, two... All right, confirm. So you get an extra clue token because the monster was defeated. Take this monster off the board. Um, oh, that's me. That's you, that's yep. Me. Yep. Can I pick up my weapon? No. Uh, uh, you no, you did two actions, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. I think, is this? Oh, this is supposed to be that's Oh, shoot, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Falling behind here. All right. Uh, what do you want to do? Is it you? Or well, I'll probably just are do you gonna, that. You're going to do stuff over there? Try yeah. to check? Or you yeah. want me to go this way? Because I could do one, two... And then like three to stop here. It could go that way if you think you need help. I don't think so. I already killed the witch that was over there. Okay. But I'm gonna do this and then come that way. One, two, and then that's one move. <laughs> and then I'll for my second action do another move one. to just end right there. Uh, unless is there any reason I want to end with you for some trade action? I have a weapon already. Well, I'm headed your way. Okay. Uh, so I'll stop there. Okay. okay. And then can you just tell me, one was the chest and... So this the was the bookshelf, bookshelf that the guy was trying to uh, go behind. Yeah. Which you see runic circles described in the wall. And then the other thing is a large scroll showing the solar system is sprawled across a pile of books. Hmm. Well, they said the key was behind the bookshelf. 
So okay. I don't think we need the key, but maybe we do. Bookshelf? Sure. There's something else that's locked. You push aside the shelf and reveal the ritual circles the butler spoke of. You attempt to trace them as he told you. Tap to attempt the puzzle using lore. Okay, my lore is two. So you can do two moves. Okay. What do you want to move? So I will go with uh, bottom center. Bottom center. Yeah. Uh, we'll move it over to the left. Okay. Over to the left. And I will do um, in the middle row on the right. Yep. I'll put it up one. Up one. That's it. All right. Oh, you need one more maybe. Okay. Um, you can do it again if you've only used one action. Yeah, I have. Then you just get two attempts, more attempts on it. Ah, oh, shoot. I wish I knew that. What? Because I have this, but I'm... What's it say? Improve that my lore. Oh, so you could have <laughs> done that as your first action? Yeah. We can we can rewind you do it. So what does it say? Just discard it's it? Imp yeah. So improve my lore and then discard this card. Okay. Yeah, discard it. rewind the puzzle, though? No, no it no, just saves no, no. where you are. When you open the puzzle again, you can it, it'll remember. So we can just say... That she use that as an action, then we'll just attempt and just she'll do one more just move. move. Yeah, yeah. Is that the book? Yeah, sure. Okay, so what do you want to do? The and we are allowed to help her. We're all allowed to work together on whatever. Okay, the top left. Yep. And just move it to the right one. I need to get that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It came with diagonal, right? No. Okay. Yeah. Two, okay, that's it for now. Two, well. All right. Um, okay. We're all done. And yes. All right. I don't know how important this is. I might be wasting my actions True. here. Well, since the door's already open. <laughs> and the investigator oh phase. Mythos phase. All right. William Yorick absentmindedly touches the hand hand to the wall and is overcome with visions of betrayal and bloodshed during the construction of this accursed building. William Yorick suffers three horror, but will plus one negate. So roll five dice. He, he'll need one. He'll need one. Get a bunch of rage, y'all. One, two, three, four. four. Holy so roll. All the horror negated. Okay, that's wow. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay. All right. Um, so what's next? I know I'm going yeah, to this go, door. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm picking up my 2 by 4 and All right. headed that way. I'm going so. first. A weathered door at the end of the hall is cracked open. You hear bizarre noises from the other side. Explore! All right, so we need uh, the attic tile. As you open the door to the unfinished attic, the stairs and walls creak as if exhaling a breath of dusty air. Everything in the room has been pushed to the sides and a massive circle of runes has been carved into oh. the floor. Discard this explorer token and place the attic and a wall tile as indicated. All right. Uh, so we need, uh, on the far side of the attic, furniture and other random items have been pushed up against the wall. Among the items, you spot something useful. Place the axe common item, which is a melee weapon, two base damage, heavy, uh, you may suffer two face down horror to convert all uh, investigations to successes while attacking with this card. <laughs> you go crazy like, uh, what's his face? Um, Jack Nicholson in The, um, the Shining? The Shining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, with the axe, going <laughs> crazy. All right, two robed figures stand across from each other over the ritual circle chanting. The one nearest you seems to be in some kind of trance and hardly acknowledges your approach. Spawn a dark druid as indicated. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, dark druid. <clears throat> okay. What else we got here? Uh, the other figure lowers the hood of his robe and points at you with an ornate dagger. What are you doing on my property? You are meddling in things you do not understand, and you will die for it. Spawn a priest of Dagon as indicated. This is William Vanderbilt. Oh. You're the guy who owns this place? We're trying to protect you. Boom. All right. Oh no. William Vanderbilt begins chanting a heinous incantation that causes reality to warp and shift. A terrible fish-like creature slips through the fabric of reality and into our world, spawning a deep one as indicated. Well, that's bad. Deep one. <laughs> yeah. I should have ran. I knew that. I there you go. There was a deep one for but you. But if you followed it properly, like you would have, I'm assuming, got the key and you wouldn't have even been there, oh, right? Oh, 
Elsewhere in the mansion, a second horrifying fish thing breathes, uh, uh, breaches a barrier between worlds, spawning deep one as indicated. I think it's a little red symbol. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> They're everywhere. All right. The pungent scent of rotting fish precedes the third amphibious monstrosity that slips into our world with a splash of salt water. Spawn in deep one as indicated. And the ritual circle on the ground is scattered with candles, skulls, and other trinkets. If you could get these ritual components, you could stop the cult's vile magics and have enough proof to condemn the Vanderbilt family. Place an interact token as indicated. You may move one space into the explored mm -hmm. area. Yes, please. <laughs> All the monsters are out here. I want to go in here and hang out with you guys. You think those are friendly? They're just normal, friendly right? foes? I'm just going to go chant with them and, and chill. <laughs> I'm just going to put on a hood and disguise and then stab one when he's not paying attention. Nice. All right. You must interrupt the ritual taking place before it's complete. Oh, no. So that's our new, like... There's a timer. This is, like, our objective. Get it done. All right. Uh, back to the game here. All right. So what's the plan? Uh, the can you, tell, can you tell me how much this deep one with the no base is? The first one. They're all, they're all going to be the same. There's no, like, elites in oh, this game, okay. I don't think. Uh, so four. 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 The big boss man's Eight. And his buddy he's chanting with is another four, the Dark Druid. Okay, um... That heavy weapon, that axe right there, that's a, that's a juicy one. Do, do you know what you're doing? I'm grabbing my two by four and... Oh, I only opened the thing. I still have another action, right? Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Well, I'm going to range fire with my Azure Flame. <laughs> <laughs> Are we sure about this? Uh, sure. Let me just shuffle it up and... But if you make fire there, can you walk through it to get to the boss or no? Yeah, we'll explain fire if fire happens. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so here we go. Uh, so let me pick up the guy, the druid. Dark druid. We're going to attack him with a spell. You press your palms together tightly and whisper over the, uh, the arcane words. So lore... Which is three, but I get an additional one when solving a lore test or resolving a lore test. So four. Looking for a two pass. Uh, I will spend a clue token to get two successes. If you pass, you pull your hands apart, and a cord of crackling energy reaches out and snarling your foes. Any number of monsters within range suffer damage equal to the spell's damage. So range one two, spell damage divided as you choose. So spell is only two. So uh. Mm. Let me just hit it both to this guy. Bang, bang. Okay. If you fail, you're pretty near blah, blah. So now I flip the spell. A tendrils of sky blue light emanate from your fingers and scorch your enemies. No additional effect. Then discard this card and gain another Azure Flame spell token. So Ooh. we're just going to shuffle them up. Okay. Okay. And continue. All right, that's me. I can go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I will. That's all. I'm done my turn. Yeah, I know. No. He's thinking, right? Yeah. I'll try to evade, and I'll try to move. You try to evade? Yeah. Sorry. Nope, that's okay. <laughs> What's uh, your which oh, guy is that? The, the one, regular one. Yeah, the regular one. Evade. Confirm. Yeah. A hideous gurgling click sounds from the creature's descendant mouth whenever you make the slightest move. The deep one's filmy eyes rotate to follow you. Suffer two face down horror, but will plus one negates. Okay, one, two. And if you suffer one or more horror, you find the creature's attention too unsettling to move. Forfeit your action. Okay. So my will is three plus one, so four. And I'm looking for two. Um, and I didn't get it. Oh my god. So you have no clue tokens. I don't know why you keep rolling things like why you just didn't attack. Well, it would, okay. if that was what I rolled, it would be the same result. Oh, true. Okay. Um, so I have to suffer so one. So suffer two face on horror, but you negate one, right? Yeah. So if you suffer one or more horror, you find the creature's attention to unsettling and you forfeit your action. So okay. you just don't get it. It was face down, right? Okay. So that was that one, but I still Failed debate check. What action were you trying to do? Move. Oh, you're just trying to get away. Yeah. Hmm. So, 
Do you have one more action left? Or just fire Becky into these guys. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'll attack. I'll attack. I know. But I just worry that I'm... Attack with a firearm? Uh, yes, please. No, I'm not trusting your aim. You strive to make up for it with sheer volume of lead. You fire it, reload, and fire again. Agility. Looking for two. Nope. <laughs> If you pass, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. If you fail, you manage to miss your enemy entirely. Nope. All right. Wow. Can't do anything. All right. Uh, Kyle, what are you doing? Picking up your 2x4 yeah, yeah, yeah. with a trade action? Yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Okay. And then I'll just do... Come in the attic with me. Don't stay out there yeah. and get trapped by monsters. Oh, well, should I move into the space with him, or should I move in the space with him? Well, he's going to probably... Oh, you can do one extra space. Yeah. The thing is, this guy is probably going to move into whatever nearest investigator space, so if you're there already, you're just going to get the attack anyway, versus him coming here, and then it would attack both of us. So if mm. we're separated, we both don't get attacked usually, I don't think. No. Yeah. Well, there's this guy here, too. There's this guy that could come around the corner. So it's like, I don't know. This guy's going to come running up, too, so... I think you just come mm. in either my space with me or in his space, maybe. So then you're ready right away. Yeah, that's, to... that's what I was thinking. Is, But then this guy moves too? Or uh, maybe. We don't know. We don't know. That's the thing. Yeah, I'll stay right there. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. Never mind. You good? You've done both actions, right? You yep. traded and then yeah, you moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you have the sneakers, which is why he had the option to possibly move an additional space. That's what he was doing there. Okay. So let's and Mythos phase it up. Uh, confirm. All right. Tommy Muldoon's limbs are wrenched into impossible angles by an invisible force. Tommy Muldoon suffers four damage, but his strength plus one oh, negates. All right, so I'm rolling five. Uh, strength is four. Oh, roll. Okay, we'll just keep that. Uh, I block one. So you get four damage. It's face up, so do one at a time. No, I get three, right? Oh, I suffer sorry, four, block, I block one. Yeah, one. Yeah, sorry, three. So three so damage. Face up, yep, yeah, one at a time. Uh, keep face up. If you move more than a single space as part of your move action, f flip one damage face up. Okay. What is it called? Broken leg. Okay, so now you have a broken leg. I right. do. Keep okay. Oh, that's awesome because uh, that's thematic with that. Yeah. With the limbs being wrenched into. <laughs> Resolve immediately. Suffer one additional face down horror, then flip this card face down. So you got three face down horror? Yeah. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you take seven? seven. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was two. Yeah. Three is minor injury. Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. Okay. Uh, one more. Right? Nope. No. It was just three. That was, oh, I thought, oh, right, right. Okay. Uh, the Dark Druid, he moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator, then attacks the investigator in his space with the highest strength. So he's going to go here. I have four. Uh, I have so three. It's, yeah. So it's you. Uh, the druid reaches out and grips your wrists, and you feel a sharp sting. Laughing, the druid drops a venomous snake at your feet. You have been poisoned. Suffered three face down damage, but strength minus one negates. So, so you're rolling, rolling three, three dice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but hold on. Oh yeah, one. One additional yeah, die yeah, while yeah, monsters yeah. attacking to you. You got the elder ward, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. That's what you get for searching around kitchens and stuff. Shit. Oh, so you, you can, took the die that I was using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can negate one. Damn it. Yep. Okay. So take two face down damage. You're probably should four out of seven now. Which you have that bandage. You might want to look into yeah, that yeah. soon. Okay, Vanderbilt. He uh, moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. Who's so for the most damage? That's me. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> In the space of seven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, monster attacks. Vanderbilt utters a low incantation, and a strange salt-smelling mist forms in the air. So you're testing your observation. Which is four. Skip these but you can do an extra die, so five, because the monster is attacking. Do you have another you. one over there? He doesn't, uh, want, he doesn't want to use mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, it's five. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's one. Yeah, blank. Blank. Uh, what, what okay, is hold it? on, hold on. It's two. You're looking right? for two, yeah. So you can spend one clue and pass. Yeah, one clue. Alright. If you pass, you recognize the danger and cover your mouth, avoiding inhaling more of the noxious mist. Suffer one face down damage. Oh, you still get damage. Still? Yep. Well, otherwise it would have been one horror and then two damage flip face up and then become dazed. So I think that's a better trade. Right. Yeah. But I can't even use the bandage because they're in my space. All right, right? so the deep one in Mel's space, uh, it's already moved two spaces and attacks, so it'll just attack you. 
The deep one wraps its arms around you and squeezes with bone crushing force. Strength. Looking for a two pass. Uh, so I roll four. Uh, oh my god. Okay, hold on. Did you forget the re-roll again? No, I'm the... doing it right now. But that's only if you use that, right? No. Oh, it's once per round. Once per oh, round, cool. I may re-roll any die. I'm just going to try to block one of them. And Got I... it. All right. Okay, so I block... So you... No, no. It's a, it's a pass oh, one. Oh, so, so I didn't even... Anyway. Okay, so I fail anyway, uh, so we're not going to do that. If you fail, you cannot escape the beast's grasp. Suffer two damage and become restrained. Two damage. One, two, three, four. Okay, so five. Resolve immediately. No additional effects. Flip this card face down. So restrained. You cannot move voluntarily. At the end of your turn, discard this card. Okay. This still counts as damage. Too, one, right? two, three, four, five. Yep, and this is six. Yeah. Uh, resolve immediately. Drop one random item, then flip this card face down. So how many items do you have? Two. Two, so one and two. One I'll we'll do odds and evens. Odds and evens. It's odd. Okay, and then flip this card face down. So I have six out of my seven. Okay, and I can't move voluntarily at the end. Disc oh my god, I'm okay. getting pummeled so here. So this deep one, he moves two spaces <laughs> towards the nearest investigator. No. Oh. Uh, hold on. Oh, no yeah. investigator in this space. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The deep one moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator, then attacks the investigator's space with the most items. Oh, it's just gonna, it's trying to find us. No, it's the green one now. So it's got the green Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. I was like, it's moving yeah, again? Yeah, no, I thought it was the same one. One, two. Uh, no investigators in the space. And then we do horror check time. So in this one, uh, the horror check is against the boss man. So let's do that. Uh, I'll do me first, I guess, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Vanderbilt laughs a deep, joyous laugh. The sound echoes all around you. So will of five. Uh, oops, I got five right here. A will of five. If you pass, you cannot fathom what could be so funny. If you fail, you grasp the horror of humor of the situation and begin to chuckle yourself so everyone horn becomes dazed. Sorry. Uh, pass. Can All roll right. with such ease. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I pass, so we're good. Uh, doesn't uh, he have to do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the sorry. Same it made one. the same thing, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, observation. Vanderbilt calls out to the stars, begging you for demise. If you pass, you realize the words are hollow. If you fail, the starlight seems to fade. Does this count as an attack? Nope. No, no, no. This is just a horror check. Like, your sanity of being in this mansion too long is, like, getting to you. Don't basically. you use the same one normally? I don't know if you're supposed to do that. I just... Okay, I got two. Yeah, yeah he passed anyways. Okay. Okay, now myself. This, uh, this guy. The, the regular. Regular? Okay. The deep one's gurgling seems to trigger something deep within your primitive mind. Suffer one face down horror. Oh, just like that? Okay. <laughs> so you four. Mm-hmm. If, uh... Then a rush of primal fear washes over you. You're testing Will, looking for a two. So you're rolling three dice. Three oh, dice. so I didn't suffer that yet. No, no you, you do. do. That's... Okay, so roll three dice. Oh. Yeah, it's part of, like, it's, it's Oh, different. okay. Uh, I'm looking at Will, yeah. So three dice, looking for two pass. Nope. All Big blanks. blanks. All blanks. Uh, so if you fail, old and painful terrors bubble to the surface. Flip two horror face up. So do one at a time and then random. I'm just going to... All right. Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. I'll do that. And let's do this one. What? No, no. I, th I think you flip it down and then you, you just shuffle again. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Because you're doing them one at a time? I would assume so. It's, yeah, it's supposed to be one at a time. I'll let you pick one, somebody, so that nobody can say I... Resolve immediately. No additional effect. effect. Flip this card face down. Okay. Yeah. Make them all face the same way, too, by the way. You cheater. Oh. You cheater. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. I see where you're at. I, see <laughs> I didn't even notice. Slight I of hand promise. tricks over there. Uh, I promise. All right. Uh, so that's that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the mythos phase. Oh. All right. What's the plan here? Well, we need to stop this ritual kind of business. Stuck. I need to use my bandages, but I can't. <laughs> you can, and just have one action. Getting rid of two might keep you alive. He's got to do an evade check to even try oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fail it and miss the test. But if I don't and it comes then, around, then these guys will be fighting us and hitting us. So like, but you can't even like leave the space because this guy's. Like, yeah. So I think we just attack these guys. So I can go first if you want. Yeah, please. All right. <laughs> uh, but I could use my Azure Flame, which could be risky. To me. 
Yeah, I could burn the put fire in the spot, and then it would hurt all of us. Anytime you do an action other than move away from the fire, you deal yourself damage. But you could do an agility thing. So maybe I shouldn't go first. Just because, like, I, I don't know if we should do this stuff. It's, like, super risky. Yeah, because yeah, it could give him damage, and then sure, you'll yeah. well, yeah, be first. wounded. All right. So, wait, if I evade, can I evade two guys? You, yeah, you just pick the one that has the highest awareness, which is the, mm. the boss guy. Where, what are you going to do? Jump to the other space? Yeah. No, I would just fight. Man, we need to get to this space. I know. Can, oh, I, you're can I evade and go forward? Oh, that'd be cool yeah. if I could get that weapon instead. <laughs> no, I want to go first. No, 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 just... No, I don't evade, man. Attack. We need to get rid of them. Why well, keep trying to run yeah, from Yeah, but guy. if I evade, then you can do the fire shit, and I'm not there. Yeah, but what if you but fail? Fire, fire spreads. You fail, you could get a damage for failing. Like, trying to evade a monster sometimes gives you punishments for, like, missing the evade. Yep. Usually it's just forfeit. Dude, I would just fight. You yeah, have a good weapon. With, with you guys both. Like two by four? Yeah. Both of you in the same space while doing uh, uh, technically four attacks, two and two. Yeah, no, let's just take a right, let's yeah. try, let's try. What do you want to hit, though? Boss uh, man who's got eight health, or you want to try to take out the druid for four? Uh, and he's two more. I say you hit on the big boss man. But I can do the druid now, and then he's gone. And Maybe then... you miss, maybe you fail. But maybe you get to do, like, seven damage on the other guy if you, like, roll a whole bunch of hits. I can only do seven. Yeah. I can only hit with two. Well, sometimes they no, say no, you no, combine no, no. your rolls yeah. oh, with okay, your... Attack this guy. Yeah, yeah. The guy who looks like... <laughs> type of weapon, heavy weapon? Um, yep, it's pretty heavy. It's two by four. As your foe closes in on you, you heave your weapon upward in a tight swing. So strength, looking for a two. If you pass, your weapon connects with your attacker's chest with a sickening crunch. The monster suffers damage equal to your test results. So it doesn't even count this number. I'm going with four. Whoa, one. So you fail. Uh, if you fail... The difficult angle makes for an ineffect ineffectual swing. I'm trying again. Yeah. Heavy weapon? Yep. A blood fury consumes you and you swing madly at your enemy. Strength. You roll two additional dice if you suffer three or more damage. Woo! There you go. Yes. Four strength plus three. Monster suffers damage equal to your test result. So again, oh, now you're ignore more this too. Oh man. I need somewhere to put this. One, two, One, two, possibly three. Three? Yeah. yeah. So, so there's the energy glitter test. So take a three. One, two, three. That's All right. Both my actions. All right. So I will go. Got him down to and, six. And I will attack with a spell. <laughs> you try to sound your way through the alien words. Uh, lore of three plus one extra. So that's four. And I'm looking for a two pass. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you pass, you're struck with sudden and blasphemy, understanding that you no longer mimic the sounds, but shout the invocation with keen purpose. The monster suffers damage equal to your test results plus one. So my test results. That's two, but you probably could have changed it if you. Kept yeah, I would add one in. Okay. I think there's at least one investigation. Yeah, there's only one. Oh, okay, okay. I just know there's at least one. I didn't see the rest. Okay, so three plus one is four, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's so stupid. <laughs> if you fail, blah, blah. Uh, let's flip that spell face down. Or, Wait, sorry. you can't do eight? Eight is in half. Yes. Nope. Yeah, yeah. I need one more unless, like, uh, investigation. Yeah, yeah. Unless but, this does damage. Yeah, yeah. This might do extra damage. Here we go. Ready? Mm. Azure Flame. Oops. <laughs> Dramatic effect. <laughs> the fire you cast grows brighter, drawing your vitality into its glow. Flip one damage and horror face up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I only have damage. Uh, I'll just roll odd even. Even. Minor injury, only a flesh wound. Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip discard face down. Okay, that was good. Uh, then discard this card and get another Azure Flame spell. So I'll shuffle this back in. <laughs> uh, so that was only my first action. Wait, what else right? do you have, though? No. Oh, oh the restraint no. thing. Oh! I could have been putting restraints in spaces, <laughs> and you could have been evading no problem. Uh. <laughs> Maybe I do that, but then the problem is I have to do an evade. Yeah, but now he's almost dead. I think at this point you just yeah, kill yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, Because it's one yeah. less horror check you have to deal with, one less well, attack. I might miss. I might fail. Or I guess you still have to do a horror check against the other All guy. Right. But... So I will do a spell. Or attack again with a spell. Probably should just use my hands. <laughs> <laughs> you begin the recitation. 
uh, but stumble when you reach the final verse. You scour your memory for the remaining words, and you thousand voices fill your mind in reply. Will of five. Five. Wow. Two is what I'm looking for. I got two, uh, but I could make it a three. Let me see. If you pass, you manage to isolate your own voice amidst the din and trust it to guide you. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. So I'll just do that. So it's four total, but anyways, he only needs one. So he's dead. So you get a clue token yep. as we defeated a monster. Yep. This guy yep, is gone you. on this side. I keep forgetting. All right. Um, and then I flip this thing, right? Yep. Halfway through the casting, the words of the spell seem to rebel against your control. Suffer one horror unless you place fire in an adjacent space. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes? Fire. Yeah, give me a fire token. I'm going to put one out here. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> uh, then discard this card and gain another spell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love this game. Did I? Oh, man. Oh, did you not get rid of that at the end of the I don't know if I went. Oh, I cannot move. I don't think you've gone yet. No, you haven't. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you just you two. We're have just gone. going nuts oh, on the Okay, okay, right. Because then maybe you it changes what you want to do, right? Right. Uh, okay. Because okay. we know this is what we're gonna like. It's for sure, right? We're just gonna focus on the boss guy. Yeah. Uh, all right. So it's your go. Okay. Well, I cannot move voluntarily, so I'll attack. Okay. So you're gonna attack the guy with a little symbol, right? Yeah. And he's four to die. What are you gonna attack him with, Becky? Uh, yeah. Which is a firearm? Yes, please. Remember, you can reroll one uh, thing. You're you're empty. You empty your weapon at the figure's center of mass. Agility, you're looking for a two pass. Okay, agility of four. Mm -hmm. uh, I got it. You got two pass. All right. If you pass Holy. several shots, catch your foe in the chest, and it staggers backwards. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. Four. Oh, four. And then it says, then move the monster one space away from you. But it's dead when it gets wow. hit. Confirm. Get Give him the clue token. Thanks. Get that monster off the board. Okay, and uh, since I can't move voluntarily, I'll just pick up my knife. I'm gonna get rid of that. You could interact with something. No. Nope. Yeah, you could have got you know. I don't really. Finished. You want to try the puzzle or check the check the little thing in the corner? Get some clue tokens, <laughs> or maybe a healing item or something. <laughs> okay. No, That's you're fine. good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm you're literally gonna waste your turn. Just I just picked up my knife again. So you might use that knife instead of Becky. I don't know if I lose <laughs> Becky. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> you sold me. I've dropped the the it tw sold me twice. Right. Okay, so we're done. Yep. Uh, oh, hold on. Forgot. The set fire. Oh, yeah. Confirmed. All right. So the fire has been set. In the investigator phase. Confirmed. Methos phase. Fire spreads out of control. Space. Place fire in a space adjacent to the space containing fire. Yes, yes, yes. Sweet. All right. Does he die? Mm -hmm. uh, not yet. <laughs> All right. The cheap item snaps as Carolyn Fern tries to lift it. Unfortunately, it's now completely useless. Carolyn Fern discards one random common item. Well, I only have one. So it's the one I get to roll additional thing. So uh, additional lore. So arcane manuscripts. I'll just throw it back in there. All right. So the Dark Druid, he wants to move up to two spaces to be within range of as many investigators as possible. Then attacks each investigator within range. Well, he's right there. Oh, so he's he attacking both attack. of you. The druid curls inward and rise with abject agony, producing from a tattered rope a horde of small rodents that scurry towards you. Agility. Looking for a two. Uh, my agility is two only. Uh oh. Mine's three. Oh, but then I roll one more because he's attacking. Yeah. Uh, I got it. Wow. If you no. pass, the vicious creatures are easily sidestepped. Well, I sidestep the rats. Can you sidestep the rats? Yep. You got it. All right. We decided to set the rest. I wouldn't have been able to. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> so the deep one, uh, this red one here, okay. moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. Uh, nearest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We choose. We choose. I know. I wanted to go through the fire. And yeah, I think don't bring them and block way, me. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, but if I go this way, How are you gonna get through the he fire? goes here, does nothing, and then you come this way, and then he goes through the fire too. But you also might... Yeah, but I'll go around the fire. I'm not going to go through the fire. Oh, okay, okay. How are you going to go around? There's I'm going to go like this. But there's one door. But then okay. it's one less fire one, I have to go through. He's coming to us. He's Isn't this still on fire, this one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So one, two. Now he's in fire. Great. He enters the space of fire. He takes the damage automatically. Boom. Okay. 
Uh, no investors in the space. Isn't it for them when they start their turn though? Yeah, which we'll do right now. So this guy's starting his turn in fire. Yeah. So he will take one. Pew! The deep one moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator, then attacks the investigator. So it's going to go one, take a damage in the space, and then one in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he attacks with the lowest uh, observation. I have four. Four. Mm. Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Oh, it's strength, of course. I only have three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Throwing his oh, yeah, I should have done it because I have the extra... Thing while it's attacking. All right, yes, that makes total sense. Yeah, yeah, no, it yeah. does because you it do does. have the extra die. Yeah, That's, yeah. We're so dumb. <laughs> but you're at so much damage, you need to use those bandages. Oh, yeah. But although I can't every time. Hold on, let's read what happens. If you pass, you shove the creature aside while you pull yourself to your feet. If you fail, the monster tears at you with sharp teeth and oozes fish smelling slime into your face. You would suffer one damage and become dazed. You go to six. Okay, well, either way, we're not going to change it now that we saw it, but um. two clues. Uh, you need two to pass, so you either spend it all or don't spend any. Uh, yeah, I'll spend it. Wow. Okay. I can't he afford doesn't want to. the damage. Okay. Man, if we're going to kill one of these, I'm going to get a... So you're good. Back. True, true. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. Oh, Jesus. All right, so who's the highest horror rating in our space? This guy. The druid? Oh, yeah. That's the bottom right number, right? No. Is it? Then yeah. it's this guy. Okay. Deep, uh, the green. green. Green deep. So resolving a horror check. This is for you. Nope, it's for you. Okay, you notice the oddly slick sheen of the deep one's, deep one's flesh as it bulging eyes towards you. Blinks twice, once with its normal eyelids, and again with another translucent pair. Suffer two horror, will negates. So five dice. Uh, sure, I'll spend a clue. Negate. Done. All right. So horror check against the same guy. Yeah. Grep. Gurgling it to itself, the deep one slinks into shadows and attempts to hide. So you're testing observation. Whatever Four. It Four? Okay. Yeah. This is nope. just horror check. No extra die. No, no. no clues. Observation yeah. Four. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You got it. Got it. Woo! <laughs> All right. If you pass, keep track of the creature's movements. Every, ever wary. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, and you're testing against nobody? Nobody. I'm good. Not within range. You're hiding in the other room? Okay. I'm trying. <laughs> Alright, so we end that mythos phase. Sweet. I just want to bandage myself up. That's it. You can. Uh, oh, <laughs> I, can. I need to put down a spell. And then we can evade. What? I have to do an evade check to, to try to do a spell. Or we can just try to attack these they're things that very, are each two health yeah, No, from. Yeah, they're very low. But yes, I should have been dropping these yeah, like yeah, yeah. all over the place. <laughs> As soon as we opened the door and I saw bad guys, I should have went, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one time when I shot over, I should have just did it. Oh, so dumb. I forgot binding completely. Okay. Because if whoever goes first can use their two attacks and clear it, the other person can just freely... You need to start hitting this token hard. Yeah. Right. So then the other person can just freely walk over. All right. So who is the better to start attacking these guys? Uh, I could try to clear them if you can use your band-aid. But again... <laughs> I own That's funny. Your bandage. Your band aid. Your name brand bandage. Uh, all right. So, but I only have Azure Flame. Yeah, that's so why I think we yeah, saw. Yeah, yeah. I think you uh, go. All right. I'm going to go. This guy's, this guy's only got two left, right? Yeah. I think they both only have two. I think so. So the Druid has two. Yeah. Uh, oh, two damage oh, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah four. Yeah, two and then one. This one has one. Oh, green's one. got two. Yeah, green has two left. All right, sure. I'll attack. There is a chance I could hit them both, but then I think it's only dividing like my two. Let me just attack this druid again. Okay, druid. Attack. Heavy. Attack with heavy? Yeah. All right, so you're looking for agility passive two. You whirl your body around. Weapon outstretched. As you come around, you release the weapon, launching it toward your enemy. Got, got it. it. If you pass, the weapon catches the figure in the chest, throwing it to the ground, and you walk over him to reclaim your, your, to reclaim your makeshift missile. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. So four. Overkill. <laughs> Sweet. So get rid of him, take a clue token, because the monster was defeated. Yeah, I needed that. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, yeah. second action on the next guy. Yeah, green. Green. Attack. Heavy weapon? Yep. The figure attempts to dart past you. You bring your weapon up in your enemy's way. Your observation, looking for a two pass. Four. Got, Got it. it. If you pass, your foe collides with your well-aimed swing. Monster suffers damage equal to weapons damage plus your test result. Confirm. 
Give him a clue token. Oh, yeah. And monster off the board. Beauty, beauty, beauty. All right, Rob, Let's do you want to go next then? And you can you kill take, this thing? take care of the token? Can we try on this? No, just kill this no, guy. No, I'm not worried about him. Fuck it. We're going to be in my space next this turn. This is what they told us to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, but this, so could, gonna this could end it. So Dude, he's going to start and get a damage and fire. And then he's going to walk in. Yeah. It's okay. You're only going to get wounded, man. You know what? Here. I'm going to be right here in okay. my turn. I'll uh, let him come to let me. Let me go. See. A ritual circle is carved into the ground and scattered with components. You attempt to retrieve the ritual components, but a malign energy protects them. So I'm going to spend an action. So I move action for one mm -hmm. space, and I'm going to interact. Using your gut. Oh, of course it's lore after I lost that stupid lore item. Using your gut and scrapes, uh, scraps of knowledge, you've gathered... You attempt to remove the items without triggering the defensive magic. You may discard any number of evidence to convert an equal number of observations or investigations to successes. Mm, so it's probably I have one evidence. The... I have one. So I have lore. Oh, okay. Lore of three. <laughs> it's it's probably high, right? Like. Yes, it's not one, but. But I you mean... can still convert with this, right? Or not? Yeah, but I'll I'll use this because it's like. That I could use for horror and stuff like that. So I'll discard the old journal, which is evidence. Yes. Uh, to convert the one. You remove several items successfully, but you trip up, causing the magic to lash out at you and burn your skin. Suffer one face down damage. Mm. Three out of six. <laughs> so failing is bad. All right, now me. Uh, <laughs> yep. Move of one, mm -hmm. two, and then, Im oh, hold on. Yeah, you can still move too. Oh, hold on. I got this broken leg thing though. Still? If I move, yeah. If I move more than a in? single space as part of a move action, flip a damage piece. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, so move of one, two, and then a move of one, two. And then because I did that, I have to flip let one. Me, let me read it. Is it each move action you do? No, it's just if, if I. you move more than a single space as part of a move action, so the first so one, two, yeah. you'd have to flip it up. So okay. just do one. Oh, and one. see what happens. Yeah, he may not want to move two more if that's what's going to keep happening to you. Resolve immediately. Drop one random item, then flip this card face down. Okay. Uh, odds evens. Odds evens. Even. Even. <laughs> okay. There knife. was a reason why, yeah. Uh, and then put that back in here. Is it flip, say flip it face down? Yeah, flip it face down. And you haven't done another move yet. How do you get rid of the leg? The broken leg. It's in his hand. Oh, but how do you get rid of it? I can't unless I get rid of a unless face Unless you flip up. a damage face down or something. Okay, so now I'm going to... Well, you're going to move again and do this? Yes. Okay, so you said you're color. moving this way? You yeah. can only move one space. You don't have to do it. No, I'm fine. No immediate effect. Uh, flip the square face down. Perfect. Wow. There you go. Okay. Done? That's it. We're all good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mythos phase... And the investigator's phase, confirm. Oh, only one enemy left. Yeah. Fire spreads out of control. All right, place a fire token. Spike. Yeah, way. I guess this or way. you could go this way. Oh, right? yeah, this way. Let's go that way. Unless we think enemies are going to come this way again or something. But That's whatever, fine. we'll do that. I doubt it. Fire spreads. Okay. The seemingly solid stairs flatten in perspective, leaving you unsure whether you're proceeding up or down. This mythos event affects the investigator in the stairs. Where's the stairs? Right here. Oh. Attic stairs. Oh, how do they know there's someone there? Because <laughs> you know things are happening in the attic. Because they know that somebody just died there. Somebody just killed somebody uh, there, so they're man, just assuming. If I get... You stumble with vertigo and fall forward on your hands and knees. Suffer two damage, but agility negates. So three. Two and I'm dead. Got it. You got it. All right. So it said if you do suffer one more damage, you sense a mal malevolent, malevolent sorry, yeah. presence behind your fall. Become mesmerized, but you didn't. Okay, so we're good. All right, so the deep one. He moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. So, so we can choose here. Uh, I mean, either way, he's one away. I'm one away in damage. So. Mm, but you don't have any. Just move. Oh, you have. He has clue tokens. Yeah, yeah. Just move. Oh, okay. Move towards. And you. the monster attacking you is the extra elder yeah, yeah, thing, yeah, right? It's, it's all good. Okay, so monster attacks. The deep one tackles you and begins to bellow. As it viciously pummels you with heavy wet fists. Suffer two damage, but strength plus one negates. Oh, if I die. And one extra from your Elder Word. Six die. Six die. You got this. Six? Yep. yep. Just trying to, to, to get rid of two damage. One, two. You got it. You got it. Perfect. 
All right, investigator must resolve a horror attack against a monster within range of the highest horror rating. Well, there only is one monster, so it's just you and me. You're both gonna. Damn it! I hate these. I'll things. do it. Let me. <laughs> I know. Let me see. Confirm. So I'm doing a horror attack. Uh, you hear a horrible scrunching sound and realize the deep one is gnawing on a worm-ridden human arm. Suffer one horror. Keep face up. Whenever you end your turn within range of another investigator, flip one horror face up. Well, I only have one horror, so we'll, hopefully that doesn't keep me going. Oh, but I could, could possibly get rid of it eventually. Okay. Uh, and then we'll do a check for you. Mm -hmm. The deep one opens its mouth, and a choking wet song emerges from its throat. It's no human sound, but you feel the creature's yearning fear and hate it in every note. Suffer two horror, but will in the gates. And a clue. <laughs> All right. And that's that. That's that. Confirm. All right. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, maybe you go first and see <laughs> what that tells us to do next. Yes. All right. If I can pass. Disrupt the ritual. Using your gut and scraps of knowledge you have gathered, you attempt to remove the items without triggering the defense of magic. You may discard any number of evidence to convert whatever. So lore again of three. Blanks, miss. Uh, I'll just use, uh, I guess I confirm zero. You remove several items successfully, but suffer one face down damage. This is not good. I wish I had that lore item. Wait, how's your lore? Three, Three also, and no extra funny business? No. Hmm. Okay, I'll just do it again. Strap the ritual. Uh, lore again, yep. Yeah, my rules on these have been mm -hmm. awful. Uh, uh, there you go. Let's go three. Spend a clue token for three. Confirm. Carefully performing each step, you remove the components from the ritual circle almost immediately. Some of the malign energy seems to fade from the air around you. You have put an end to the cult's vile scheme. Gain the ritual components unique item. And discard this interact token. Ritual components, which is... It's more evidence. <laughs> Collection of eerie objects to be used for some heinous ritual. Ah, that's cool. That's cool looking. All right. Uh, whenever you end your turn within range of another investigator, flip one horror face up. Well, I only have one horror, so we're good there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. The investigation is complete. If an investigator escapes the mansion with the ritual component's unique item, the investigators win the game and the investigation is complete. Place an explorer token as indicated. Well, I'm done my turn. But I could trade it off if somebody wants to grab it, but looks well, like you're, gotta, looks like you're yeah, a little busy. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> take care of this damn Alright, so you're gonna fight this guy? No, my turn. I want to go. Well, can you choose a second? I thought you can only choose a first player. No, we just should yeah, go you in just, any order. Yeah, you just go in any order you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. go. Uh, Alright, sure. I'll get rid of this guy. Uh, well, you'll try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Attack? Fine. Heavy Attack. weapon? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> you swing at your foe. The sweat on your palms threatens to loose the weapon from your grasp. Strength, looking for a one pass. So just a four uh, dice, looking for one success. <sighs> Clue token. <There> you go. <laughs> if you pass, you manage to keep a hold long enough to connect with your enemy. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. Which is two? Two, two. yep. Oh, so close. Okay. Yeah, do it again. Attack again. <laughs> Heavy weapon. Yeah, I have to. Yep. You and your opponent wrestle for control of your weapon. Strength. Looking for a two pass. Got yeah. it. Okay. If you pass, you kick your foe back and bring your weapon down. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, the I get over that the first time. Yeah. Well, because the first time is I, right. what I think is true is the first attack is never as good as if you're attacking two times in a row. I guess yeah. That's what I think they're they're doing there. All right. Okay, so now me. Now. So what I'm gonna do Try to is get extinguish rid of some fire. the fire. So you're doing agility check. Yeah. Agility of four. That's when I'm gonna roll all good. Okay, so you got three. Yeah. So now... So now if you do a move... Yep, I can... You could do one, two, and extinguish two flames. Well, I don't want to do... I only want to do one because of this. Okay. So. So, but it's for the rest of the round, too, by the way, just so you know, Kyle, for future plays and anyone mm -hmm. watching. Uh, you have three banked, basically. So if you were to move one for now, you get rid of this one, you're fine. You don't take damage because you do the extinguish action. But if for some reason someone were to push her on their turn, or a monster were to pull or push... Or the horror check makes her move back one or something. 
any other move you do would still clear it because you have those like successes banked. Oh, okay. That's okay. how that works. But I only want to move the one because my broken leg. Yeah. But someone could come in and push you yeah. if we still had action. But just that just clears the way yeah. for but you just to... Just so you know, that's how that could work. Okay. So we might need to use yeah. that in a future scenario or something. Perfect. All right. We're done? Yep. And that clears the way for you so you don't take Hopefully. damage. Hopefully it clears the way. Fire's going to spread right now. Well, we can spread it up. Uh, yeah, sure. Just right in the bedroom. The bed's on fire! <laughs> Run! <laughs> All right. With a start. William Yorick snaps out of fatigue, uh, out of a fagu state to see smashed finery and deep gouges on the nearby walls. Could he have caused this damage in a blind rage? William Yorick suffers three damage, but strength plus one negates. They're trying to hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, I felt like it was me all in the beginning, and then it's moved to you. Strength plus one negates. So, so five. Four. Strength plus one. What? Oh, four, five. Yes. And what am I doing? I'm trying to get trying to get three damage. <sighs> Come on. One, One two, two, and, and clue. clue. <laughs> now here's the crazy part. Then he flips all of his damage <gasps> face up. So one by one. Oh shit. Here, here. Let me let me just shuffle them in. I'll give you them one by one. No. <laughs> <laughs> I need to use my bandages. Here, here you go. Uh, What's to say? Only a flesh wound. Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. Awesome. Uh, flip all of his damage. Pieces. Okay, here. Uh, <laughs> you clutch at the wound, and your grievous hand, injury, and your hand becomes comes away red with blood. Resolve immediately. Suffer one additional face down damage. Then flip this card face down. Just give a face down. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit, I can't have any more of these. Uh, demoralizing injury. Resolve immediately. Suffer one additional face down horror. Oh, horror. That's then okay. Then flip this card face down. Okay, horror's okay. Flip the face down. Here you go. Uh, no additional effect. Flip this card face down. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. This can't be one of the... Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Lucky. Okay. So what are we at? Six. six. Yeah, six out of seven. One, two, wow. three, four, five. Six. I'm also one, wow. two, three, four, five, Stop six. Stop picking I'm also on the game. Six. Come on. Well, yeah, running out of time, It man. was doing that for me at the beginning. That's how I got all I these. I just wanted to look in the fridge. All right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so hold Rob, on. Rob, go you first, are... right? Because then. Yeah, but hold on. One, two, one, two. Not have to explore, but if I move trade, he can go one. Two, three, and have an action. Oh, to yes, explore, yes, right? yes. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah. Because he's got his shoes. You got the so track I shoes. Explore, do I, I, yeah, because we went in the fridge for a reason. I know, but Make I want to use useful. my bandages. Fine, it doesn't I matter. I want to use them this time. It's fine. It doesn't matter about the bandages All at right. this point if you get out the I'll door. I'll move one. Yep. I will trade, give you the ritual components. Mm -hmm. what make, do you want? Yeah, make well, those shoes. I want bandages. Make those shoes useful. And then. Yeah, unfortunately, that's all. Let me just move one more then. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so I'm done my turn. Go why ahead. You move, go. Why won't you move two? Just because. He did. I did. He moved no, two moved you. One into you, traded, and then continued my move. That's all I can do. Oh, I see. Go ahead. You can Those go ahead with, two the, actions. Me? with the shoes. Yeah. One, one two. two. One extra space because of track shoes. Yep. And then I'm going to explore. Explore. The mansion's front door is just in front of you. The investigation is complete. If an investigator escapes the mansion with the ritual components unique item, investigators win the game when the investigation is complete. You can escape only if you have the ritual components unique item. Escape. You throw open the door and flee into the night, carrying the proof of Vanderbilt's heinous crimes with you. The investigation is complete. Each investigator wins the game unless an effect such as an insane condition specifies otherwise. So now it's one insane. That's pretty good. That is good. It was close. Close, yeah. Close for you. <laughs> That's close to both ways. <laughs> You burst through the front door of the mansion and run for your vehicle, desperately clutching the components from the ritual site. Incontrovertible evidence of the cult and proof of their connection to the disappearances. disappearances. Your vehicle sputters and slides as you accelerate down the uneven drive. If you can make it to the police department alive, the cult will surely be destroyed. You smash through the gates at the end of the drive and careen into the road, leaving the Vanderbilt estate behind you. The end. So that's Mansions of Madness, second edition, the 
tutorial, easy, less rules. Even though because we had expansions, it added additional rules, which kind of made it a little more complicated and some different monsters maybe and stuff. But uh, that's Mage of Madness. That's awesome. You so like yeah. it? You yeah. like it? What do yeah. you think, Kyle? You'll come back for more? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How, how, what do you think compared to Zombicide Invader, the other game we've been playing lately <laughs> with oh, you? Oh, it was totally different. Totally different? Yeah. yeah. If you had to choose just one, you're on an island, or you're about to be sent to an island. Well, I like mystery shit like this. So. I know, I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Because so, yeah. it's a totally different type of game. So the cool part is, yeah. so now to, to sell, it's, for anybody who's watching who has, doesn't know much about this game, so it's app-driven, and we already were looking at this earlier, but... Uh, so there's many other scenarios. So you could even, the cool part is, you buy the base game. I think they give you three scenarios by default. And then with just the base game, the problem is the base game is like $100 US or something around that price point. Um, but you do get four scenarios, three scenarios, three scenarios that are replayable like this, that every time you play them, it could be like, we played it yesterday or the day before or whatever on the weekend. Yes, Sunday. Totally different entryway. Mm -hmm. Rooms and halls were in different sides of the mansion. It was kind of sort of the same actually the the noise was on the other side and we saw different monsters mm -hmm. the ending was kind of a little different how it worked out uh reading the journal thing and finding the button in the bedroom was something we yeah hadn't we never seen. had that yeah so that was cool we have in the library which the library was like up here somewhere before we did get in the back and there was like some kind of office but I feel like there was, maybe that was the key. Well, in the key or the bedroom, or in the bedroom or the, the office or some hidden thing, there was a lockbox. And we had to, like, solve the code on the lockbox to open it to get the key. So it was, like, a little more difficult. Um, but, yeah, so different things happened. The fridge was different. It was bad for us, whatever it was. I can't remember, yeah. It was, yeah bad. it was bad. It was no item. It was nothing good. It was, like, yeah. you suffer some horror or something stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, you see some crazy thing and then, you, you know, get a horror. Yeah, yeah. I see. So different things happen, so you can replay the same scenario. But the the app gives you uh, like three scenarios with the base game, maybe four. Yeah, I think it's four. But then they add a DLC. So even if you just own the base game, they gave more scenarios if you really want to play more without ever buying more than the base. You could play like four, five, six scenarios and play them different every time. But then you start adding expansions and stuff from the first edition. They, they resold these boxes. They brought all the first edition stuff. So if you already own the first edition of the game, it mm -hmm. came out in like 2012 or something, 2010 or something like that, uh, they give you a conversion kit. They gave you all the cardboard and the cards and everything to bring those monsters and the characters forward. But people who didn't own that, they brought out these additional boxes that just gave you all that components for it. So you could just buy that and boom, replayability out the yin yang. Like you get more items, more spells, more characters to choose from, more tiles, more monsters, all that stuff. And then they start releasing expansions like every year. Like sometimes they're a little smaller expansion box, or sometimes a big expansion box that's full of like giant tiles like this. Like, man, like we're gonna play in a lot bigger locations. Then there's outdoor stuff on the back of some of these, even these core set tiles. There's like all different rooms, backyards, side yards, gardening houses, all this stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's just like the replayability and like some of the extra scenarios, like. Some of them, the length of them is different too. Do, Some can of the difficulty you, Can you different. play a five difficulty level five? Like, do you have one of those? Or? Uh, oh yeah, there is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll we'll start with like we'll, we'll if we're gonna play it again probably next Tuesday maybe if if Kyle's around. Uh, Mel and I want to definitely play some just two player. We'll try. Yeah. But we've learned with this game and we saw online too. We got really frustrated we're playing this game. <laughs> Remember we did it before with two investigators, one each. Yep. Yeah. It's tough. Very. Because. The only thing that seems to scale is they give you a little more time, but the uh, damage on the monsters is less. So mm -hmm. it's easier, not easier to kill them, but they're, they're less damaged. So those guys would have maybe been three damage on the deep ones, maybe even only two. Yeah, but it's still annoying because you have so many. True. Yeah. But we noticed the clue tokens, the search tokens, all that seem to be all the same amount. So the problem we found is once I go to search like a couple couple search tokens and play around and try a puzzle, boom, I'm running out of time. I have no time. But when you play with three or four investigators, somebody can go search and do that stuff while other people go explore rooms and it seems to let you get more done. Yeah, you have more actions overall. It seems like the game was designed for like 
three to five players and the two is kind of like let's just shove it in there but let's not play test it we'll just do it so we can put on the box that you can play with two players <laughs> yeah like that's the feeling i got and of course i went online on facebook and in board game geek there's threads all about that it says if you know me and my wife play or i play solo take three guys at least or four four is like the recommended and we did that we tried yeah. we're like okay let's try it again and we each took two guys man so much easier yeah it was much different it game. It could have been just right. based on random stuff we got in the second try, but the first time we got our butt kicked, and the second time we're like, oh, okay, we're actually able to search stuff, and oh, this guy can go search. Well, this guy does the bedroom checking, and this guy does the puzzle. Oh, yeah. well, this guy needs help over here. Let's send another guy with him. Like, yes, the monsters were all like, that boss man was like 10 or 12 yeah. or something crazy like that. But, but you have more people to tell. Yeah, more people. But you only get the same amount of items to spread around at the beginning, we found. So, so there's people that are... Yeah, there's oh. people with no weapons, people with no right. spells. Like, yeah. yeah, you get a lot less. So that was the other thing. I think that's how they thought they balanced it. You take two investigators, yeah, they just get, like, three items. No, it's not enough. You need, like, extra actions. But then I saw people also recommending if you play with two, just add an extra action per turn to each player to make it kind of fair. So they can do a little more on their turn. But anyways... But yeah, so if we play again, uh, now that you know uh, how to play and you've seen the game, here you can choose next time you play from one of these creatures. Uh, the expansions we're playing with Omni, let me show you here. Um, so in the app, uh, let's go back here, return to main menu. The ones we own are my collection, second edition. So we own, we own these ones, the, the top four here, the, the two packs from the first edition stuff, Beyond the Threshold and the Streets of Arkham and the Sanctum of Twilight. We do not have horrific journeys in the Path of the Serpent because basically we got all this stuff last summer. We played the game a couple times. Tried it with Justin, actually. We played with him. And yeah. I think we wanted to get you over to play it, but then it just never happened. But uh, then we kind of put the game we were going to play around Halloween last year, and then we just didn't and played other games instead, like last Friday and Fury of Dracula and stuff. And then this kind of just sits on the shelf until we remember like Halloween time we think of horror games. And that's what made me think of it. But I think we need to just play through a bunch of this. If people watch it and you guys hit that like button and, and we get lots of views and watch minutes, people are like really interested in this game, I'll share it in some of the groups and, and on social media and stuff. And if people come and watch this, we'll just keep continuing playing this game. We'll at least do another one. Yeah, uh, for, for sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, we'll do one next week most likely. Uh, maybe one on the weekend and, and play a couple at least uh, just to give it a fair shake. Cause yeah, because maybe we can do on the week and we can do a longer one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So some of them, the length, I want to try a longer one. There's actually one that I've, I've heard of that people, like, it literally takes a whole day. It's like six mm. to eight hours or something stupid. We like that kind the of cool stuff. The cool part is you can stop, and it, yeah, and it yeah, renders yeah. your save state. Yeah, so yeah. you can come back to it. But how many tiles would that be? Probably, I don't, know. I don't know. A bigger table? I, no, I would assume <laughs> it's limited to... I would assume it's limited to that. But maybe it changes locations. Maybe you literally go at a door and it's like, okay, get rid Clear of this way. building. You're now in a new outside zone and you can't go back in or something. Oh, that's that'd be cool. Maybe that's what it does. Or maybe travel to the library and now you're in library tiles. And then, okay, you're done with the library. You found your evidence. Go back to the mansion now that you know this and now explore a different mansion or something. Mm. I don't know. I've never. Now, I've only, we've only played like two of these, I know. these uh, scenarios ever. Is there uh, fan made scenarios as yes, well? Yes, there is. Oh, there's all this stuff, man. You'll That's never exciting. run out. You'll never know. But even just replaying this first one, this is like the fourth or fifth time total in like a year. Yeah. Year and a bit that we've played this one, and it's been different. Like different things come up, and, and it's cool. I love the replayability. But yeah, this next one, ninety to one hundred fifty minutes. So there's the thing, though. If we're playing on weeknights like this, it's like. Yeah, yeah, we just have to either start Starting earlier at eight, or... 90 minutes is fine, <laughs> but this 150, I'm going to estimate, is that's more a, really what's going to happen. That's a big game. So yeah. that's, that's two that's and a half like... hours, right? But if we start at 8, that's only like 10.30. Yeah, but it, what, what is that based on? Like, like, it doesn't matter the number of players? That's why I was saying that? It, it, it says that because based on you might make a branching path. Oh, you right. might take longer to get to the stuff. But you, we may find right away and solve the puzzle. Or, or we, we may could die, die really quick. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like they just find through playtesting, it's like, you know, there's long ways to do things. Yeah. You might get stuck on a puzzle over and over again or something. Uh, shattered Bonds. 120 to 180 minutes. Difficulty 5, though. I don't think we're ready for that. No. Not yeah, yet. maybe we do not even do that one. Hold on. Let's find the next. Maybe this one. Rising Tide. Three difficulty? Oh, never mind. No, that we... 40 to 360? Yeah, we gotta do that on a Saturday. What the heck? <laughs> difficulty five. There's one. Difficulty three. It's like one step up from what we just played. 120 to 150. So two hours to two and a half hours. Yeah. Well, there's dogs. 
<laughs> yeah, that one's not terrible. We could try that uh, one. Not this one. Uh, the length on that one's okay. We don't have it though, but uh, four. I'm trying to find one that's like two or three difficulty. Right there here. you go. Here that's we go. what we'll do next. 90 to 120. This is the next one we'll do. Well, with Kyle, unless yeah. we do one on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is what you're, you're coming to next time. Ventral Impulses. An acquaintance named Thomas Carvey requests the pleasure of your company at the dinner party. Among his other invitees is a man or woman Carvey believes to be plotting his demise. Use the Using the party as cover, find out who is planning Carvey's murder and why. Oh, murder mystery. Exciting. Murder mystery. Or what else we got here? No, nope, four difficulty. No, nope, three. Oh, but it's 180 to 240. No, I think we do that one. Gangs of Arkham. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. I like that stuff. All mm -hmm. right. Ill-fated exhibit. Okay, something in the museum. No, that's a five. <laughs> yeah, is it? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Twilight. Parade. What the hell? Yeah, that's, it makes you want to click it. You see this and you're like, woo. Three. Oh, here, three difficulty, two hours to two and a half. I think we do the other one for some then. Doors. Yeah, we're working up to With that. The dog one, the outdoor one. No, the murder mystery. The murder one. mystery. Oh, one. The murder mystery. Yeah, or this yeah, one yeah. behind closed doors. You awaken in a cold cell with nothing but your clothes on your back, and the trinkets in your pocket. Through the walls, you hear desperate strangers that share your plight. You must band together to escape, or else risk coming to whatever dreadful fate your captors have prepared. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> try this one. We'll let you decide, Kyle. Uh, or if people are still. In the chat or oh, watching. We don't, we don't have any of these ones. We don't have any of these ones. People can I also... I put up as a poll on YouTube. Oh, that'd be cool. Which one, yeah. Which one of the two? Just out of the two, yeah, yeah. Eventual impulses or... Behind closed doors. Yeah, da -da -da. and if, if people make it to the end of the video, yeah. either in the chat now or on yes, YouTube... Yes, that's true. If you're watching this in the future... Leave it in the comments below what you'd want to see behind closed doors next time we play with Kyle on a weeknight where we only have so many hours to play. Most likely a Tuesday night coming up. And we'll play it live. So and then... we'll do it live. So be here for it. I'll schedule and everything. But yeah, um, just leave it in the comments below which one of those two you think we so should So what play. are the two options again? Behind closed behind doors closed and... Behind closed doors and... That's vengeful true. impulses. All so right. dinner party or we're locked in some cell and we got to figure out how to get out of there. And if no one says anything, Kyle will decide. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Kyle will come and he'll, just, he'll tell us well, before he yeah, comes. I mean, the thing with this, you can decide like at the start of this. The only thing is step. characters. It, you, you, like we decide that. Uh, I mean, you could decide that after clicking. But, but you don't really know anyways, does yeah. it? Yeah, so yeah. whatever. Next time we'll figure well, out. Well, this is the chick, I think, that's in the picture. <laughs> he's, he's already picking so, his character for next time. And she has good ability. Uh, yeah. But it's an action, though. you got to spend know, an action so to do it. This is pretty cool. At the start of your turn, if you have no clues, gain one clue. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But powerful. her strength is shit. Yeah, but, she has no fives. But has no this fives. one, this chick, Rita, looks awesome. Yeah, the extra move. I movement know, the one. extra move, yeah. Yeah, but like, look, her, look at her stats, too. She's like the same as this guy, except like way more health, and she's beefed up strength. Everything but she's low on horror, though, so she'll get scared easy. Uh, No, no. Oh, here, yeah, but she's got Will of Four, though. Yeah, well, like that's what I've been all using. the stats are the same as what I'm using, except she has more strength. All right, so we know you're playing Reedy Young next time, so <laughs> well, it's, it's easy to set up. It, for it you. depends. Like having the extra clues was awesome. Dude, try some different stuff. It's all. But good. like she's moving, so it, like we don't know if the scenario involves more movement. Yeah, that's, that's true. I'm gonna say with a dinner party though, where you gotta question all the guests that it was yeah, saying. Yeah, it's more talking. Yeah, you're gonna be running talking. from room to room. I don't I'm sure. Know. I like William. He's pretty cool. Yeah, that all was right. cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely cool. But yeah, that's Mansions of Madness. That's our first playthrough of Mansions of Madness, playing the uh, Circle of in Cycle of Eternity. But yeah, if you want to see more, hit that like button. Follow the channel uh, by clicking the subscribe button. Also, if you subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss when we go live again or when we post future playthroughs. Uh, leave comments below. Let us know if we goofed up any rules or anything to help us and future viewers of this video learn from our mistakes because we do mess up rules sometimes. Uh, or if you have any strategy tips or anything like that, where we're doing anything kind of weird, wasting time, misusing actions, kind of like not being efficient. If you have any play tips or anything, I know this game has been out for a while, but we're kind of noobs to it. So it's new to us. Um, but yeah, help us out. Kyle is the first time playing. Mel and I have only played a few times. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, you can click the link in the description below. There's a link to Patreon, PayPal, all that business down there. Thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be going. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.